Well, what's up, Warhammer 40k community? This no, is Quarantine up, Hammer, because we are going to be stuck here for the this next six weeks. Hammer, How awesome is that? So, anyway, just want to let you know that this is game three here in Quarantine Hammer, and uh, it is it is exciting time for us. Uh, we are featuring Duncan and his Imperium Army, and shocking Cullen with also his Imperium Army. So, uh, also we got the T.O., Wes Anderson, Cullen, Duncan, Wes, say hi. Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. This is Dunkalicious here. <laughs> Welcome back. This is Dunkalicious here. <laughs> Welcome back. <laughs> that's my uh, that's my new sign on at uh, on the podcast. That's my uh, that's my new. I respect it. It's a power move. Up oh, so uh, anyway, we also have some awesome, amazing players here. Um, we have the amazing Ben who won his last game. Uh, on Monday versus Steven with a three Wraith Knight list. And say hi. Hello. Hello. And then we also have Reed Stowe, who is an amazing 40K player today. Thank you so much for having me. Glad to be here. No problem. We're glad that you're here. So, guys, in the chat, let me know how are how's the audio? Guys, let it. And uh, we will get this uh, ball rolling. Right now, they are deploying their armies. And as you can see, uh, it is uh, Duncan got the roll to go first. So very good for him. Uh, but I think Ben wanted to review a few of the lists real quick. So Ben, which list did you want to review? I'm going to start with Colin's list, actually. And uh, he's got Adeptus Mechanicus. I'm sorry, Adeptus Astartes. Starts off with a, a Captain Jump Pack, Power Fist, Shadow Master with the Stratagem Master of the Trifold Path. That's his Warlord. Pairs that up with a Chaplain. And I believe he's made that a Master of Sanctity. I see a minus one CP on his list for it. I'm assuming that's what that's for. Uh, so he's going to take the litany of probably plus two to charge or maybe plus one to wound. I think plus one to wound here, actually, looking at this big progressor squad. I think that's what he's going to put it on. But anyway, nuance. Uh, three scout squads. That's pretty typical in a Marine battalion. Aggressors. He's got five aggressors and a sergeant. So it's the full six man squad. And then he's got a Devastator Squad and a Drop Pod with Grab Amps and Grab Cannons. And these guys are just very good at leading whatever they want when they want. Hey, hey Ben, will you cover Duncan's list for me? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, they're in a drop pod. Moving down to his spearhead detachment. Add We've got Bolaris, Carl. So this is Mars. Uh, three Dune Crawlers with Icarus arrays. That's the, the, they have like three guns that they shoot at the same time. They're all anti-air. They're decent. It's probably the most well-rounded. Uh, Onager equipment you can give them, and two Scorpius disintegrators with the out of line of sight shooting strength six minus one, 3d3 shots, two damage each, and a bunch of stubbers, obviously. And then he goes into some white scars with Khan on a bike and three Invictus war suits. So, what makes this interesting is these Invictus war suits can advance and charge, so they're going to infiltrate and advance and charge, but it looks like Duncan's got the first turn, so what he's going to do with these Invictus Warsuits is going to really kind of dictate this game. It's if he plays them aggressively and loses them for nothing, it's it's going to be not the greatest of time. But if he plays them right against Duncan's mass assault right away in his face being Blood Angels, this could pay off for big time for him because he does have the Flamer on each one of these guys as well. So Duncan's got to watch out for Overwatch in these guys. You know, they're still monsters in close combat. So that's going to be interesting to see. So now I'm going to shift over to Duncan's list. And he's got some Blood Angels, like I talked about. He's got Astrith, a Chaplain, or a Captain, sorry, uh, with Death Visions of Sanguinius. So he's got the six up field of plane, plus one attack. He's got the Relic Jump Pack, so he ignores Overwatch. And he's got a Thunder Hammer and a Storm Shield. So he's a very resilient, classic Smash Captain. 
for Blood Angels. And he's got Mephiston in there, too. I mean, if you're not taking Mephiston and Blood Angels, what are you even doing right now? Uh, and then we go to his scouts with bolt guns. Boo! They should have knives, Duncan! Knives, you want to stab. Anyway, he's got three squads of scouts with bolt guns. Uh, the sergeant has bolt pistol bolt guns, so that's plain Jane. And then we've got a massive death company bomb here with four hammers. And I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine chain swords. That's a big death company squad. Coming in at 298 points. That's going to be in his face right away. I was assuming with the stratagem to move the blood angels. So with him going first, this could be pretty deadly uh, being up the board. And then we've got some sanguinary guard here with four power fists, four and carmine axes. Uh, these guys are very tough. I, am, I don't think they're as killy as the Death Company. They can be, but they're just not as many of attacks. Uh, you need a little bit more synergy there to make them super deadly. And then we've got an Ad Mech Battalion here with the Tech Priest Dominus, Macro Summer Volkite Blaster, Daedalus, three Skatari Rangers with Galvanic Rifles, ten Electro Priests with the Gauntlets, and then we've got a six-man squad of the uh, Iron Strider uh, walkers. These are the shooting kind with the auto cannons. It's not the close combat pork guys. And then he's also got a drill. So I'm going to just go ahead and assume that those Electro Priests are going in that drill and that he probably is Mars because coming out of the Deep Strike and doing a bunch of mortal wounds is pretty good. Uh, but those are so, the so I priests, just so want to point not. out real quick that uh, Duncan did uh, not... There's, Excuse me, I just ate, and so all the food I have right now is just in my belly, and all I can think about is eating right now, so that's unfortunate. But Duncan is uh, is going right now. Uh, as you can see, he did move the Death Company on the board, and they are right there in their lines. See if I can do this drawing real quick. Right there. They're all up. Oh, nope. Those are the scout squads. That's the big old death company squad. Moving on up the board. Reed, do you think that's like a really good place for them? Yeah, you know, I think uh, if you're going to get aggressive, you might as well just go right at them. Looks like we're attacking objectives right out the gate, and we're going to see what's going to happen behind that ruin. Yep. So the interesting thing is how the math put it up is... Uh, Cullen right now just out of the gate had a 90% chance to win this game just because of his, his metrics that he has uh, Cullen is a really good player and uh, we are excited to have him out today Yeah, I was noticing that Cullen had a much higher win rate than Duncan so far this year and uh, Cull or it looks like Duncan's been switching around between armies a little bit, trying to find his home this year. And uh, Colin's been a little bit more consistent by the look of things. Do you think that's the way to go, to be consistent throughout the year? That's that's always been my strategy. I think with just how life is, you don't get opportunity to become a specialist in every army. So I think it's best to kind of keep greasing the same groove and practicing the same lists and uh, factions over and over again to really become a master of them. You know, what's interesting is Duncan is again okay. moving some, some that squad. Dude, they fucking, they, they get it quick. All right. <laughs> moving that Death Company squad again. You see it, it was originally here in the center of the board. Since they didn't get any of my prayers off. And then it just moved again. How that is crazy. I did not realize that the Death Company squad can move that quickly in the first turn of the game. Yep, if uh, you can also do the same thing with one of the Smash Captains, but it has to have a Death Company keyword. Uh, if some people do that right away to just to fling a single dude up there to kill a key unit or whatever. You obviously can do it with the whole Death Company blob, though. Would you rather have a Smash Captain or a whole Death Company squad? Can you uh, put your push to talk on? <laughs> uh, I'd rather have a Smash, Smash Captain. I've cool. seen it done both ways. I think this big chain of Death Company, I think you're, if he plays this right, he might be able to tag a whole bunch of vehicles versus uh, if it's just a Smash Captain, you're probably just going to take out one key target and then he's gone. Cool. So <clears throat> what do you think Duncan's, uh, have you guys covered what Duncan's strategy is right now? 
Well, I think what his strategy has to be and what it's going to be is definitely 100% get in the, so get in the face the right away, jam him up, make sure that he's got board control in doing so, and then just trying to hold that throughout. So if he does that, he's going to hold more. He doesn't necessarily need to kill more, but he's going to bonus as well, holding four objectives, and that's huge, just grabbing that bonus every turn. I think you're absolutely right, Ben. I think the goal here is not going to be to outshoot him. So it's going to be to mitigate his shooting by that touching as much of that stuff with Death Company. That guy's range. So four guys are in range to shoot your war suit down here. Oh, are you? 40, yeah, 48, right? Yep. Pew, pew. pew. So it's cu I'm curious to see what he's going to do with these Iron Striders. I think he's going to try and tag that Invictus suit up the board. Uh, did he happen to move those, or do you think he's into a shooting phase right now? Let's see. Do I... Pawn Wings of Fire... I think whenever you say the word Wings of Fire, you have to uh, quote the band Dragon uh, Dragon Flame. Is Dragon Forge that the band? I have no fire. idea what you're talking about. Uh, I'm old. Early 2000s. Okay. So it looks like Duncan is doing what I think he should be doing, which is taking oh, the board. I don't like that crater being He's got there. the Iron Striders in a good position to hold two of those objectives. He's got the Death Company right in the face right away. I think those Thunder Hammers are just going to rip through that Invictus suit. Uh, if they can survive the Overwatch, which is likely, and then he's gonna pile right into those Doom Crawlers and he, give them uh, a bad day too. So uh, if Let's Duncan plays ball. this right, he could be in a very, very good position right away. Uh, if he's 12 inches from those crawlers, he could even fight again and do it twice. Uh, knock down two two of the crawlers and the Invicta suit with those Death Company. They're that nasty. Hey Jason, could you spin it around and show me what's behind the ruins over here? Yeah. So this is uh, Cullen's ruins real quick. Looks like he has an aggressor squad, full man, pawn, uh, captain, smash captain, some scouts. So Ben, when, when you were talking about Duncan's strategy, uh, what is his, what, what, who do you think he's going to charge first? And then what is he just planning on locking up? Guard. Uh, see, that's where it's tough. These Death Company, they can't take all of that. So that's why I think his strategy's got to be to to shift off to the right and wrap something in combat. He doesn't necessarily need to deal with the aggressors right now. Doesn't necessarily need to deal. He's got to deal with one of these main threats here: the Invictus suit uh, or the aggressors. I mean, you could go for the aggressors, and if you get lucky, get them all. And if that happens, that's that's really good. But then the Invictus suit is going to put a lot of punishment on you because these Death Company don't have an inbound, so they're not oh, super survivable against high AP of the Invictus suit. Uh, but the the aggressors have power fists too. So one of those two, if he can get both down, okay. then he's looking pretty good. Uh, and then pile into the group. Now that I can see that the aggressors are there, uh, I think that's his strategy: is trying to plow down both. I don't think they have the gas to do it. I think that the Invictus suit or the aggressors, one of them is going to live and punch back. But if he can get those Thunder Hammers to live, swing again, and maybe mop up the rest, then I think he's looking pretty good. Asrath's going to try to cast Unleash, or excuse me, not Unleash Rage. Yeah, I completely agree. I I find it curious that Thunder Hammers do three damage and aggressors have three wounds apiece. So if you can get into those aggressors, you might be able to really hammer them down, but I don't see how you're going to get all of them, the Invictus War Suit, and still touch those Onager Dune Crawlers. So That's I think he's got to kind of pick tough. which way he's going to go. No. He'll cast the Wings of Sanguinius onto himself. So. Yeah, I completely agree. You just got to be. I don't think he's got enough gas there to is it do. Five? Question is, it's a five. Cool. Question is, where do I want to go? Sounds like Duncan is trying to figure out where he wants to put uh, the rest of his units. At least he did get Unleash Rage on this Death Company squad. 
Uh, do you guys know what that what that will do for the Death Company squad? It increases their attacks, but I can't remember exactly uh, on what way. I think it's plus one attack. I think it is plus one attack. Super handy for the uh, 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 was it the Thunderhammer Death Company dudes. That's exactly right. Pull on, do you know off the top of your head how many command points that is? I believe I've looked in the Blood Angels Codex in forever. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Blowing the old Blood dust off this sucker. Yeah, oh, Unleash Rage will give you plus one attack. So you're really cranking up the attacks of the Death Company. Really putting all of his eggs in one basket there. Moving up, trying to get in there. I mean, when that unit is, uh, what, a sixth of the army? I mean that it's got it's got to pull his weight, right? Yep, has to has to trade up actually. Yeah. So uh, the rest of Duncan's movement look like the Iron Strider Balisari has moved up on the board. We got the Tech Priest Dominus in support, and he has this mighty fine castle in the back holding this objective. Uh, Reed, Ben, who, who do you, how many points do you anticipate Duncan scoring this turn just in the primary alone? I'm seeing Duncan getting kill more and hold more this turn. Um, I'm guessing four in the primary. Yep, that looks about right. We'll just say this is cocked. Cool. Well, let's take a look at the secondary objectives real quick. They're in that quick shooting phase. So Ben, if you don't mind, if you could do uh, Duncan's secondary objectives, talk a little bit about them, and then read if you don't mind to talk about uh, Cullen's. Really hoping to kill him. Twelve damage is still pretty good, though. Absolutely. Do you, are you pulled up on the scorecard for me? Um, Yep, I got it on stream. Zoom in for you. Okay. Had to restart my stream one second. Oh, no Apologize. worries. Oh, I'll start. That's fine. Uh, looks like Duncan took big game Hunter, Recon, and Born for Greatness. I guess I don't know. Do you know who he put Born for Greatness on? I'm going to assume Mephiston because he's the one that can really do them all. Yeah, so that one I've, I haven't had great luck with. Someone like Mephiston's perfect for that objective that's going to be kind of the wild card i think for him big game hunter if he doesn't if he doesn't get big game hunter this game i don't i think it's over for him so i think that's a really good pick recon uh it's no surprise that he's trying to get up the board and touch as many spots as possible and with vanguard strike you kind of have this weird angle where turn one you can get in all four corners right away so i think his first two are the really solid pick and then the born for greatness i want him to impress me i want to see four on that but i have never seen it yeah, it is. I chose that one the other day and actually is really hard to get. I only failed five out of six. Okay, so. Bam's over in the chat company. right back here. Backseat no gaming. Shooting. These death company are going to go ahead and declare a charge. Pretty He's sizing much up the other tournament members. Against to everything. The aggressors camp. won't be able to shoot because they can't see. That's Brian right there in a nutshell. Uh, but. Yep. This war scouting report able to do the same thing in football. And you know, that's what I like about the, the bracket format I'm is that you have a chance to review your opponent's games and see what their strategy was. But when yeah, I it is fun. It is. I, I, I like the tournament to system them. as a spectator. It makes uh, things every so game yeah, is important. You have to win or you're out kind of thing. It's, it's, it's a lot of fun. Everything else. Okay. So you're trusting the scouts, the scouts and the war suit, correct? So yeah, what you're saying, captain. Reed, is that you would uh, play in the next the iteration of scout. Quarantine oh, Hammer? You're just, you're just you know, I just might. Um, I'm hoping yeah, the quarantine ends before the end of Quarantine <laughs> yeah. Hammer. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no joke. So, am I going to heroically intervene? I don't know. <laughs> um, okay, so War Suit. Uh, so, Flamer. Let's watch me roll the ones. Nine. Six, that. nine. That's pretty good. Nine. Okay. See, I, I, I generally like rolling onto the bucket because it kind of spaces things Feels out better. better yeah flamer here goes calm uh, flamer this is a big one for him six seven neg one okay that's a lot of neg one coming in on the death company there 
Hey. So three go through so far, but I got to feel no pain. Feel it. Let me try. That's that's not my role. This is my role. Uh, so two down. That way. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you roll. They're gonna have like a pain. four up huh? save. Yeah, yeah, up yeah, yeah, no pain. With the armor I think he loses and quite a few right. here. Actually, the first time, and yep. then you just rolled. Right, I, I, I had seven armor saves here, and I passed four of them, and I failed three of them. So I picked out my fails, and I did my feel no pains. Okay. And okay. I passed yeah. one feel no pain, so two guys die. Okay. Uh, now he's got his nipple guns. Nipples. Uh, hit no sixes. So we can roll those sixes again. Up, 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 up. Do Top I one. see a lot of sixes there? I see one. I got one six here. One neg one. one. With, this is with the nipple guns. Oh, yeah. stuck yeah. another negative one through. That's a roll. Gotta roll it up and down. Um, heavy bolter. Uh, roll. Done. Um, and then he's got his missiles on the top. Up, up, up. Uh, three. Three turns into... Oop. See, that's not a roll. You gotta, like, flip it up. Two hits. Two. Uh, strength. Five. Any threes? Hey! One. 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 Any AP? No, AP dash. Up, up, up. Goes through. Yeah, hey, Asante, make thirteen. That Why is there a war suit please. on a Dune crawler? Uh, that's tabletop simulator for you. It is all funky. <laughs> okay. Well, it is. All righty. Let's see here. Boom. All right, he is going into those aggressors, which obviously a thunder hammer is a great tool to take out aggressors. But those What's, aggressors, uh, if any of them stay alive, they're going to be my heroic intervention hard. range on this guy with the so right to the edge of that objective marker is where he can heroically intervene. So I'll place a guy here. This guy. <laughs> so Asante, what I'm assuming. Uh, he meant to do is have that dune crawler a little bit up to the right, and it just wouldn't place down right with the. the... Am I on top of anybody's bases? Oh, Don yeah, the Magnificent. Yeah. We already okay. went through the list, but I'll give you a quick rundown. So we've got three dune crawlers. This is for Colin. This is the Invictus suit guy, with uh, three dune or three dune crawlers, two Scorpiuses, a drop pod with grav. A big aggressor squad, a couple characters, a chaplain and a chapter master, I believe. Oh, and uh, Call. So he's got full rerolls on both sides of his army. And then Duncan has a big death company bomb, a sanguinary guard bomb, okay. an iron strider. So I don't want to say bomb because it's just like a, a big squad We're of iron striders with auto cannons for shooting. Uh, a couple of so piddly rangers, here. some scouts, and then go he's got a Dominus right and uh, Actually, I need to get a little bit closer Dice Fenglong, right. whatever. That's hard to pronounce. Yeah, 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 yeah. You pot your pile and, and then some go. Electro Priest with the and gauntlets in a drill. Here. Did he fire the a, Iron Shredders? He What's did. That? Okay. I must have missed that. What do you, uh, what well, do you actually, do? in all fairness, he, I don't even think he had line of sight at anything. Well... What is it? Twenty-four inch range for uh, the Iron Striders. I thought it was like forty-eight. I thought they shot really far. Oh, these yeah, might be the auto cannons. I thought they were the last cannons. I'm gonna roll auto cannons are still forty-eight inch range. Right. Within, right. Well, you're you're without you're outside of three, right? So if you're outside I'm, of three, well, within you shouldn't be able to heroically intervene. No, no, it wouldn't be when it's I place it. Oh, it's a flat three. Yes. Yeah, and it'd be before I piled in, too. Okay, got you. All right. So the three Thunderhammer guys right here are going to go into the aggressors. Everything else is going to go into the war suit. All right, well, he's going for both. All righty. So two base for each death company, one for shock assault, one for being a death company. See, I would let one and resolve. One for and if I have to, then spend the three CP. You know, it's worth it to so get rid of both and then wrap. 
but if you don't get one, then you're forced to spend the three CP. You know what I'm saying? I do. Okay. And these are power fists. No, these are thunder. Angels. I think the safe play is to take out the Invictor War Suit and then pile into the Onagers and just right. pass turn um, and make the aggressors react to you. But this is kind of this is going for this the Alpha Strike that will knock Cullen kind of out of the game. And fortunately, if you feel like you're about to lose the game or it's kind of like uh, one sided after a couple turns, since it's single elimination, you know what? The points really don't matter. As we found out yesterday with Sean's game. So, yeah. Okay, so flat three, right? Yes. Absolutely. Neg three. Neg three. So six ups. Five dots. Four ones. Wow. Wow. Do you guys just see that? I did. That's, okay. That's and four the rest of this off the suit, table so right I away. got one Thunder Hammer and then one, that five? two, three, four, five, six dudes. <coughs> I suppose so it would be five because they only on have fours? a three up save. Is that right? Correct. So they're at a minus, minus, oh, minus oh, three on the Thunder minus, Hammer. Three, so... And then wounding on twos. So three of them. Two of them. That's a one. Oh yeah, that's a one too. Whoops. Okay. Whoops. They're good. See them sixes. See them bones. That'd be Six a damage so far. Rider. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need thirty chain sword attacks. So there's one, two, three, four. Five, six. All right. All right. These okay. are hitting on three. Let, let me delete this. Let me delete this. There we go. Okay. So Pyro Weasel says he has something to do with re-rolls, the hits for the DC2. You mind helping me pick out my yep. two? Appreciate yep. that. There we go. Okay. So Duncan is having a okay. pretty good turn, Reed. No uh, what are your thoughts on so far, so. Uh, Cullen's next counter-strike? What do you think he can do? So depending on how many of these death company are left after things fight back, um, he's gonna have to he's gonna have to get shots down the board. Uh, he's got the superior yeah. shooting in general, so he's got to he's got to use that. The problem is those onagers looked really tied up, and he's gonna have to maneuver around with that other Invictor war suit to clean out death company and use the con and all that other stuff to strike back because he can't let those death company stay. Unfortunately, I mean, if they stay the for two turns. Phase, yeah, if they stay for two turns, I feel like um, this game is almost over. That, that I think that's correct. The Death Company are kind of your send them in, watch them die turn that's one, but hopefully you cripple your opponent. Kind of like Ben was saying, you gotta you gotta punch above their weight. They gotta do better than their better than their points. And if you can pull that off, then you're kind of in business. I mean, do you think Duncan is gonna want to attack again, regardless of how many casualties he takes? He's gonna pull from the chain swords for sure. The key is going to be to take out that Victor War suit more than anything because you don't want him swinging back on your death company. Um, so if he can take out that Victor War suit, then he'll be able to really pile into those onagers. Probably won't be able to fall back, and uh, it'll be kind of a crippling blow. Onagers aren't necessarily schlubs in close combat, but they're not like they're not gonna they don't have enough attacks to clear at the death company they like the Victor. Never mind. Go ahead. I thought I was, I was gonna try to pin you hey Don sorry to hear about your store Don the Magnificent is talking about his store that no one is coming in right now man I feel for you bud uh, maybe next time we can get you in on this uh, TTS tournament this quarantine hammer tournament fill your time maybe we'll pair you and Ben first round I think that'd be fun just kidding Ben I was in the middle of a big yawn. I did not want to put that on the microphone. Um, okay. so. <laughs> I appreciate that. You know what I also appreciate? Um, okay. I appreciate you not having an echo. Uh, uh, <laughs> I assume that's a wound. That is a strength six wound. No next. Okay, so it looks like we're getting some good. dice rolled here. He is a stop. Okay, uh, the that war suit. Uh, suspiciously charts. like uh, the Invictor's uh, attacks. Uh, oh, uh, no. Yep. War base. That's a lot of ones. Uh, hitting on fives. Okay. 
Hey, Ouch. look at that. Is your captain in range? Uh, he was not within range, I believe, is what we said, right? What was uh, what was swinging right well, there? I guess, no, 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 the to give, no, to give him the re-roll. No, he's White Scar. I believe okay. that was the Invictor. That's right. I'm That's not right. sure. Yeah. Well, so it, actually, it was. The, yeah, it's just six inches. Nothing. Uh, so oh, then, no. Uh, yeah, that's going to be a big problem. Uh, Those deaths okay. coming here are going to be so loose now. Four attacks, I believe. Uh, he's got Master Artisans, though. That's a plus. Uh, so hitting on fours, rerolling ones, and a Master Artisan. I think this is where we have the aggressor swinging. Uh, so Master Artisans, the two. What's up, Campbell32? So Thanks for following our channel. No, I got to reroll the ones. Oh. All hit. Oh, and he gets a little. Anything but one. Orc vehicle, too, to celebrate. Yeah. Uh, five. That's the best part. Egg three. Three damage or four, okay. excuse me. Kind of makes me want to unsubscribe Six just to resubscribe so that my name shows up. Next do time. it, do it. Please follow our channel. We're doing yep, quarantine no hammer okay, every so day for one. the next two weeks. That's three. three. Second one. That's okay, three. Let's try that again. One. There we go. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about those two because they're six ups, but this one yeah, I will try. Fair enough. Okay, yep. so three more so three. So he's still within an inch of those two armagers. Uh, let's see. That's pretty neat how he this flips his models two, down two. for uh, purposes of casualties. So you can keep track from the morale phase. I just picked up the models and chucked them off the board um, like a savage okay. when I was playing tabletop. Okay. That's okay. I actually like to, and I add like leaving the models there so you can kind of keep track where you took your casualties. Fight again. Mm -hmm. All right, so he's spending his three CP to fight again. Um, Shocking, right? Is this war suit gonna right. be able to fall back? How far does he move right if now? If the three war inches? suit and the aggressor no, get picked up, then he, he puts the pile in there. Oh, no, he should have. He should have like two wounds left, right? Correct, but they they have a ten inch, ten to eight, eight to six. But oh, let so me just do six quick, inches. Yeah, let me do a quick double check for you. But I, I do six. Uh, it, it's like GW's. Do we know how many so wounds that Invictor took? Drops one too. I has two I left. The question is, can you still move your six and stay outside an inch of these death company? I believe I might be able to. Yeah, he, he does move six. He does move six? Yeah. I think I'm going to be able to ninja my way out. Do I want to fight again? Uh, what's the aggressor's leadership? Uh, they are Space Marine, so that's the sergeant. So eight. Uh, What's up, Dem Fool? Good evening. Hey, thanks you guys for joining Game Three of Quarantine Hammer. We're super excited to hear uh, tonight featuring uh, some awesome shoutcasters, uh, Reed and Ben. They are from the Frozen North team up in uh, what Minnesota? You got it. Cool. And tonight's right, matchup is. Right? Oh wait, go ahead. Sorry, Ben. Uh, no, let's no, read. I was, uh, uh, our igloos are melting, and so our computers are starting to work again. And <laughs> it got up to thirty degrees today, so we're pretty happy. No, you said thirty I'm degrees? No, I'm just kidding. It, it was like fifty-five. Oh, okay. That's. I was like, wow. Thirty degrees is Alaska temperature right now. That's right. <laughs> So, uh, this is Quarantine Hammer. It is uh, the Lord Marshall Conference's uh, way to just provide some awesome competitive action. It's a bracket format. Uh, you can take a look at the bracket right here. We are featuring uh, Duncan and Cullen's game. It is a, an Imperium Imperium matchup. Pretty exciting. If you have, want to take a look at their list, visit our website, lordmarshall.org, and click on Quarantine Hammer. I'm also putting a link into the chat. But you definitely got some points on your uh, big game. <laughs> And then I should have Born for Greatness because of this objective right here is outside my deployment zone. You still get the bonus. You hold three, six, four, and five. Four, six, three. Oh, he's right. Yeah, I do. Oh, there's, right. oh, there's, one, there's one. Yep, there's one, he's one in your zone. Okay, so I kill, I hold, I bonus. I've gotten two big game hunters so far. Easily. I should have, uh, I should have a recon. 23. We sure uh, are, Did you want to eh? keep count with the, the <laughs> player turn? You can keep yeah, how many wounds you've done to vehicles. Or, really, you're, you're gonna Some would even call us heart Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I got one for, one for greatness. 
Third but off. figure it out. So seven. Do you guys say bag and flag? Okay. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Yeah, uh, settle down, Super Chief. Uh, <laughs> obviously, my Aren't Canicles you from Tiger King Country? Proud. Dude, is, I am proud to be from, from, uh, from Tiger either. King Country. <laughs> I don't know about you so guys, man. Either, it's round. We're embracing Letter Kenny, so. Uh, so <laughs> it's different than everything else, so it's really hard to keep track of. It drives me nuts. Yeah, yeah no. I, I mean, I get, like my chaplain doesn't get it either. That was kind of like the. Yeah. Happens. So is this gonna be another upset, Jason? Okay. So I, I think this is. Do you mind marking move. for me while I move? Sure. What I think this is. So let's take a look at the score real quick. Holy shnikes! Yeah, All right. I think uh, Ben. Thoughts? He'll just move right. Yeah. Thank you. What's the scoreboard say? Seven. Uh, seven to zero. Obviously, it's only the top of the turn. Tell you how far you're moving them. Pick him up first. So he got all three on his. Oh round, my god, so that's he even incredible! Got the bonus. Uh, so that guy had to fall scored back. Scored the battle round end, but yeah, this even after everything's back. dialed up, okay. just on the top of one, he's gotten seven, which isn't isn't that shocking considering this is uh, Death Company striking right away and doing damage. That's kind of what they're supposed to do: is score high early on and kind of cripple your opponent. Well, it's interesting. Right off the gate, Duncan went from a 10% win chance to a 47% win rate. So, I think seven points right out of the gate, you know, crushing his opponent, destroying, uh, I think there is only, nope. Yeah, there's only one aggressor, and I believe this Invictor has two wounds left. So... Oh, and he got rid of a on no, excuse me, no. All the onagers are still on the board. All right, Reed, what do you think Cullen's uh, objectives are this this turn? So he has to absolutely has to do something about those death company because they're tying up his invictor. You ain't gonna be able to shoot him off. So that's where I think the con and uh, some of that other stuff over there, the other invictor, are gonna have to come in and clean up because if those guys are left to left to um, do whatever they want next turn, I think you're I think you got a problem on your hands for Cullen. Big shot, right? Uh, he's got to fire back and he's got to score. He's got to score some critical shooting kills. Um, he's down to one Onager shooting and then the. Uh, hover tanks too so he doesn't have that much shooting just because so much of it was taken off and some of it was touched but this has to be the kill the death company and do shots down range to start challenging the backfield shooting that uh duncan has with those balistari it's it's weird yeah i kind of kind of agree with you there i think that this invictor war suit up by the ruin is kind of misplaced I don't know what he's going to end up doing. I, I get what he was doing, trying to protect his little bubble. But I might have done a little tighter formation just so that it can support the other stuff quicker. But now I think he's getting in his way. And I don't think he's going to be able to support himself as well. I think the uh, caution here for Cullen will be... If he pulls out everything and whatever he sends into those death company don't kill it outright, I think he's I think he's got a problem because the temptation is going to be to fall back and then just shoot into the death company. But I don't think he can afford to dedicate all the shooting and all his melee to those death company this turn. I think he, I think he has to has to get shots down range and set up for set up for the rest of the game. One hundred percent. Like, they can't live, but you can't put all your eggs in that basket, or he's just going to keep the pressure on, and it's never coming off, especially with those Sanguinary Guard and Electro Priest coming out of deep. Yeah, I just can't wait for the Sanguinary Guard and, or the Electro Priest to come. Who, who do you think is going to do more work of those two units? I, th I think you're, I think you got two kind of different tools at this point. At this point, I don't know. I don't know if it matters. It's going to have to be a counterpunch to take out the rest of his melee. Um, I, I think if those Electro Priests, I always believe in the Electro Priests that if they get a kill, okay. they're sitting real pretty. But if they Sorry, don't, man. then they're just kind of another yeah. mediocre unit running around. Yeah, I would agree I think 100%. If I'm Duncan, I'm waiting for that Grav Squad to come down, and then I'm going to drop my Sanguinary Guard to shoot most of them dead, and then charge the rest. 
able to wither. That's the, what I would uh, save my sanguinary guard for, because then you're at least making up your points in models killed with all those grab guns and taking the pressure off. And then they they have enough movement where they can go wherever they need to go after. But I think the Electro Priest, they gotta come put pressure on this armor in the back corner. Because they do mortal wounds like crazy. Sure. There you go. <laughs> How's he gonna deal with that Invictor on the other side of the board? Terrain is so finicky. Way up at the top. The, the Iron Strider's gotta take it out. That's what they're there for, to take off stuff that he can't go charge. At least that's what I would do. That's a good picture right here of the board state. Kind of, it's uh, definitely Duncan has more board control at this point. But that was to be expected, I think. So what is this? Is your, oh, it's your Smash Captain. Yeah, that's, this is the Smash Captain. That's Astrath, and then that's Mephisto. So these Invictors all have the flamers on them? Okay, um, I... Is that how he outfitted them? Chaplain. I think he did. To... Yeah. Vance. Um, he's got that Raven Guard cloak thingy. Those three. Uh, so it's a gentleman 17. Can just click them and tab. Thank you guys. So Don the Magnificent is asking, uh, what is this percentage thingy on the overlay? So yep, percentage Sorry, chance of winning. Better. So, yep, worked on that Smash today right there. He's at in quarantine. Right kind of yeah. bored, so came up with something kind of cool. Oh, it's, a, it's a good idea to just kind of show, because I, I assume it takes into account their history and how they're doing this season. And mm -hmm. yeah, go so and... it's kind of a way for you to get a snapshot. If you've never heard of Cullen or Duncan before, you kind of get a snapshot of where they are. Um, as I recollect, Duncan has not as good of a win percentage this season as Cullen, so Cullen came they're in as your favorite. 14, right? um, no, they're 12. And then, of course, once, yeah, 12. Yes, and then once the death company, once the death company show up and start doing yeah, the thing, all those numbers start to shift. So, um, yep. And it was interesting. I think Ben, we had Ben on, on yesterday uh, for game two of Quarantine Hammer, and Ben, did you predict a uh, upset? Keep in mind, you'll have to. Uh, you have to go around the wall since the fly. I think he did. He is probably not here right now. Oh, that's right. So if you want to move him a little bit, but then you might have to eat Overwatch. It's up to you. Yeah, he's gonna have to continue eat Overwatch. Stay. Yeah, fly doesn't go over that stuff. I'm just gonna keep him where he's at. If you don't mind, okay. just screw it. He's one more turn. We'll get you get get a hold more. Okay. So it looks like he's playing done, safe done, to kind of yeah. concede the hold more instead of uh, running things. up the field and challenging the objective right away. Yep, I think the goal is to play KG, and uh, it's it's going to work out for maybe him in the long run. Yeah, if you can get the death company to burn out early on, then uh, maybe, maybe you can swing this later in the game and kind of piece it back together. I know that it's probably going to be hard to lose after, after, or hard, hard to play the game with okay. only so one aggressor. Get 11, correct? Yeah, yeah. that's uh, yeah, a, 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 so a really go. good unit for killing okay, Death Company, and you're down to one before you even uh, get okay. to shoot or uh, do anything with them. That's a that's a tough break. Done. Yep, I would agree. Them yet. Okay. Uh, into my into my moving phase. Let's put my uh, drop pod in here. I really like their paint scheme on all these. You know, they did a really good job. Must have been up all night painting these figurines. Deploy and... it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> so we got a drop pod coming in no, on the Sanguinary Guard. Two up Correct. They have a five up that's not going to be good. Uh, no, just two up safe. Yeah, that's the tool. Well, correct. Isn't this turn one? Yep. Oh, yeah. Drop pod assault. Of course. How could I forget? Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen the drop pod when you hit the deploy button? No. The sound it makes? No. Oh, <laughs> All right, I don't know if you saw that, but we uh, the drop pod deployed. That was pretty dope. Destroyed. 
Hey, you know what? I mean, we can't drop pod doors, right? That's right. <laughs> uh, be immersion. Forging a narrative is what they say. Okay, uh, let's start with some uh, some pew, shall we? Uh, we'll do the no-brainers first. Uh, the grav, we're going to shoot into, I know this is going to be a big shock, but your uh, uh, secondary guard. And okay. I'm going to use the cherub. And Sorry, I'm back. And use the oh, sorry, right. Ben. We did miss you. Uh, so I did have a question. The cherub get threes, right? Shoot away. Uh, right. But Reed answered it for me. Never mind. I think you were asking about uh, predictions from his last game. That's fair. Oh, that's right. Yep. Uh, we actually said, uh, I actually asked Reed if, or excuse me, you, Ben, if, uh, you know, Duncan has a, a really big head start right now. And uh, you predicted a upset for tonight. You still, I did. You, you, you think that is going to happen based on what you saw in the first turn? They hit on, yep. No, they did not go ahead. So they have fours. Excuse me. So fours, but this one hits on fours. 100%. Gives him ballistic skill too. Um, okay, so uh, hitting on twos or hitting on threes. threes. Yep, threes. So two uh, miss. Okay, I'll um, I'll master artisan. So this is one. the part where uh, okay. Cullen gets to use his correct go. tool for the correct job. And He's using those devastator those centurions to go, go after sanguinary guard. Things. Now and this is hitting on akin fours. to the death company going after all those pretty vehicles and squishy stuff in the back. So this is kind of his big counterpunch okay. to try to. Out. Equal the playing field, and if he if he can't yeah. do it or his okay. dice uh, crap out or whatever, he might he might be going on the rest of the way to rerolling. Yeah, might be going home early. Okay, that's one cocked. Good thing you got the hmm. reroll. Interesting. I know, right? I would have deep shot the thing when I got. I usually I play Eldar because I could just make everything reroll, so that's like my safe zone. Uh. What else does, uh, well, uh, how does okay. it work out with points? Uh, Will you be able like to 1,000 as a strike if you did? Okay. Oh, what was that question again, Reed? So the you can't deep strike over half your army or 1,000 points. So if he deep strikes the Sanguinary Guard, the, um, would that put him over the points? I'm not sure he deep struck anything but the Electro Priest, so I think uh, he would be in the clear. The Electro Priest aren't super. I rolled your so seven wounds. Yeah. Are these okay, multiple? So the, yes. In characters. Okay. Yeah. So the first one. Okay. Uh. I, yeah. I guess I have to do them all. Looks like seven went through. Jesus. Brutal. One. Three. Yep. Uh. Three. We roll. So, so. Oh yeah, you got the strat. That's right. So two. Two. Doing damage up here. Two. Three. Two, four, keep it. Four. Free roll. And it sounds like you use the grab amplification so strap. I forget what it's actually called, but <clears throat> the one where so you get to re-roll the damage. How many rules are there? Re -roll this. Okay. They're two apiece. Okay, so killed six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, and one thing's one. So there goes six sanguinary guard right off the bat. Ouch. Um, this might be the counter punch that he's looking for. Okay. Uh, next. I can feel those percentage numbers spinning mm. right now, Jason. Yeah. Really we'll see what it uh, looks like. <laughs> uh, bottom bracket. Luckily, has a 12 inch flamer. I think he's within range. Oh, wait. Is he just no, out? looks like he's just out. Yeah, just out. Okay. So he'll shoot uh, his heavy bolter and his uh, heavy bolter and it's his. Like some mistakes uh, were made here, keeping that flamer out of. Grenade. Scouts getting them those. So frag has to go against the scouts, and the nipple and heavy bolter will go against the secondary guard. Okay. So the frag, which has 18 inch, how many shots? Four. Hitting on fives. One. Wounding on threes. One wound on a scout. AP or dash. Good. I like how you're using those casino okay. dice. And then uh, just make sure that nothing's six. weighted, nothing's funny going on. <laughs> <laughs> Accurate. Yep, you gotta stay regulated Nipple. here. Fives. Nice. Uh, okay. Okay. 
Strength four, toughness four. Fours. Uh, two at neg two? two at neg one. This isn't to the secondary. That guy's dead. Kill one. And Do you think uh, Cullen has the firepower to get rid of uh, the sanguinary guard? I rolled three dice, but two of one of them disappeared. So you know, if you, if you would have asked me a minute ago, I would have said no, head. but I forgot all about the grav yeah, amplification yeah. where he ends up. Sixes, I, I think yeah. he just killed uh, six so sanguinary sixes, guard. Yeah. Yeah. Where I, I I didn't expect him to do that much, so uh, I think he does now actually, especially if he would have gotten that flame within yeah. range right away. The only one that uh, didn't matter was the assault one. Go for it. Yeah. What uh, do need to do? Yeah. Well, I, I think I only had. Do I have two sixes? And with that unit, it, uh, it's going to get to the point the where you get it down to just like one or two guys, and it's not really a problem anymore. It gets okay. to the point the where guy, charging anything with a flamer guys, or decent overwatch is isn't even worth it anymore. You know, right. You're kind of just stuck with a guy who's sitting on an objective or running him around, maybe going for a hope and a prayer charge through a flamer or whatever. He's good. Yeah. I mean, sometimes it's, uh, you know, uh, drop pod will shoot. I mean, but there's been many times where you've had like a 10 man grot squad, like camp and objective at the end of the game. It could be used for that. Do you think Duncan's probably going to just pull that sanguinary guard unit in the backfield, maybe protect his backfield or hold an objective? Do you think maybe that's the right play at this point? Well, he's still got five left, so they're not out yet, but, uh, depending on how the rest of this goes. Accurate. I'm just shocked that they're on the board. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's them. Uh, moving on. Uh, Khan's going to shoot at the death company. Okay, well. before you get too far. I mean, I, I get the thought process. I can transhuman. To... You know, I've got a two up save, so Let's it goes see. to a five up. Your, your disintegrators have the strength six guns, right? Correct. But my question is, is why? If and you know you're going you first and you're going to shove that death company I'm right into his throat. I'm going to spend one. Well, and you didn't really need them the for the bonus. They okay. aren't really holding an objective. Just They're just kind of just kind of there five. right now. Yep. Okay. Uh, yep. So the con, he's got four shots. But you know what? I'm not in Duncan's head. Right. So I don't, <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know his game plan. <laughs> he might know some shit we're not even thinking about. Correct. That's probably accurate. Okay. Hey, so we got uh, this is if you're just joining us now, this uh, is Quarantine one. Hammer game three. Uh, what Quarantine Hammer is? It's a 16 man in elimi a single elimination bracket. Okay. And right now uh, this, this is game is three, like I said, game four uh, is going to be uh, uh, Bam Bam and yeah. Mike Delang. And I think that's going to be an awesome game tomorrow at 6 uh, o'clock. So tune in here. Uh, I won't be here, but we're going to have one of my awesome co-hosts, Doug James, uh, running the show. So I set him up with everything. Doug James? The okay. Doug James. Wow. I have his autograph from a few years ago when I first met him, you know. Was it a red card? I'm just kidding. <laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly right. <laughs> Actually, I've never seen him use one of those. <laughs> He's probably not in the chat, but uh, we all we all know we love him. All hit. I need fours to wound. Uh, dose. Hurry up. Now the curious thing is if if Bam Bam wins and, and Duncan up. wins. We'll have them play nice. in the okay. bracket, Missile. which will be a funny game because they always play five. Yeah, my that, five. that would be pretty funny. Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of smack talk in that game for sure. Shut up. Okay. Missile. Uh, kept that as cocked or what? No, that's fine, dude. Okay. Reroll. Yes. Threes. Threes. Uh, four. Uh, See what I, I like one. what Colin has done Lincoln's here with the Invictus pursuit yep, and the grab two. guys. He's protecting them with the Invictus. Which so is the first one, one how much damage to take? Duncan just can't go D3. over there and touch them. Uh, so he does. Correct. So I, I like that move a lot. Two. Two. And then does he ignore it? No, one guy dies and the second one. Then he's going to have to make a decision. Uh, he's going to send yeah, he whatever four, remaining four, sanguinary guard over there to run through Overwatch, fight those guys, kill them, and then get countercharged by Invictus. You know, because that will kind of be the end of them if you uh, do. Order into the sanguinary? Yep. Sanguinary. Called. How many shots? Three, six, eight. Jesus, tits. 
Uh, and the death company are going down that's that shooting. Rolling to hit. Uh, we'll just count that as cocked. Three, co uh, three. We roll. Oh, yeah. look at that. There we go. Raise the wound. Raise the wound. Neg one. Hey, nice. look at that dice rolling. Uh, three up. Oh, dice really betrayed him there. Yep. He is good. Okay, next one. Um, we'll do the ex exact same thing. Okay. Uh, these not causing as much damage as I would like. Okay, uh, small arms first. That's so it looks like guys. both Invictors yeah. are firing the into the death company. Yeah. I think the one can't shoot. We're correct. I'm trying to... Uh, five? Five. Or maybe it's the Scorpiuses? Yeah, these might be the Scorpiuses. I hear them talking yes. about small arms and big yes. arms. So maybe it's the Scorpiuses. Uh, 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 One more. Uh, missile. He rolled a four. I was really scared for that one there for a second. <laughs> Hoping for it. I know. Uh, three hits. We rolled a two. Into a miss. Threes. Uh, all three. Nick two. Five up. Oh. How much damage? Oh. <laughs> One. All <laughs> One. Right, five up. All of the five. Oh. Why did I think, oh, look at that. Why did I think Death <laughs> Company oh, have a uh, six up feel no pain? Dude, my Death Company had been. This is dumb. I like it. I, uh, I played uh, back in 6th and 7th, yep. I guess, that they had 5-up yep. uh, feeling pains. Yep. That's how they should be. Yep. Back in 5th, they actually had a 4 of feeling no pain. Yep. Okay. Wow. So you have the fly keywords. You used to not be able to control them. Remember that? Or go to the nearest <laughs> thing? <laughs> yep. <laughs> so in a death company, dread not out of a drop pod and get a kite by an Eldar jet bike. The whole game was awful. <laughs> Uh, no, neg, uh, neg two. Neg, neg two. two. Yep. You'll, you'll make them okay. both. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> okay. Wow, you guys Four. seen this rolling from Duncan? <laughs> this, this is that problem I was oh, telling you about. If you start yes. throwing those shots in those death company, you just kind of don't know what's going to happen. You have to damage that other happens. stuff and then rely on your melee to clean it out. Seven, I would have brought over that Invictor and then the Khan and all that other stuff. Okay, to kind of uh, take out the death company because I don't think sitting here shooting at him is, is going to do you much good long term. So Khan is definitely going to be in the charge range next game or next in the charge phase. Mm -hmm. But that's about it. I mean, I guess he get this uh, one captain over with a power fist. I was imagining that other Invictor coming over and all the scouts. I mean, throwing just a lot of little combat knives at him is, is kind of what I would have done, but... Just throw everything in the kitchen sink at them. Otherwise, those scouts are just going to be sitting there doing nothing all game. Uh, the, I think right. you got to get them in. Right. And you know what? That was pretty amazing. The uh, Duncan did not take any more Death Company off the board. So, I think he took a couple. I see a couple face down right there. Correct. There's a couple right there. There's one, two, what, four I see right three, now? Eight. Oh, four left. Yeah, four left. Yeah. Yep. That's that's nuts. Um, how many? He started off with, what, ten? Ten Death Company? I want to say more. Uh, you mean this turn or this turn? from last 12. turn? Yep. He started with 12. 12, okay. Okay. 12. Okay. okay I'll try he had, uh, oh, I'm sorry, 13. He had nine chain swords and four thunder hammers. Okay. Uh, nipple. It's on threes. So we've got somebody asking to look at the, uh, the other corner rather than uh, this one. specific. Leg one. Says so the pivot the camera 90, 90 degrees, degrees to the left. To the left. All right. Uh, heavy bolter. Uh, all hit. Oh, he, 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 he didn't move. No, he did not move. Okay. I was just trying to get the dice rolls in there too. Four, yep. Five, six. Uh, Oof. Fuck. Is that it? Two died. Yep. Is that it? Oh, Let me know if you want a different angle. Come on. 
It's the kind of service you get from uh, the Lord Marshal TV. Uh, J John Madden, every time I emailed him or showed up at his house, he would never move the camera for me. But uh, Jason Horn, he, he, he lives to serve. So. All I got is a restraining order from poor John Madden. Um, you know, John's a pretty funny Marshall. guy. <laughs> here at Lord Marshall, you get all the services. You get angles, you get replays, everything you'd ever need. Brackets. Yes, I am. One word. So uh, let's talk about uh, Duncan's strategy next turn. I think okay. with the grab on the table, he's looking really good still. Yeah, he is. He is. That grab counter punch was just what he needed. Um, I think Duncan. I think Duncan needs to deal with that. I think he needs to deal with that as quickly as possible. I don't know if the solution for him is going to be send the sanguinary guard over there or to shoot him with the iron striders. But uh, he that, that's new enemy number one for him. I think what I would do is I would drop down over by objective two and force the Victor to come deal with him in the backfield with the. Uh, Electro priests. Yep. Since they can shift to the left, and then use their shooting to kill the the grab wound. So what you're saying then is the electro priest would uh, drop near objective two, correct? Actually, behind you see that box there behind the invictor and all that. I would drop to the left of that if there's room. Uh, yeah, if you go further up, I, that's where I would go to force. Because then that forces Colin to kind of literally stay in that back tiny portion of the board, and Duncan can continue okay, to hold the board and get the bonus. That's a yeah. That's definitely really good board control at that point. Yeah, if you can get the drill and the electro priest back there to to raise hell, then um, you're gonna you're gonna have a lot of you're gonna have a turnaround. It's it's the problem he's gonna have is if he can't kill those grav guys with the iron striders or if the sanguinary guard don't make it over there or what have you if, if those grab guys keep surviving he's gonna it's gonna be a problem so but i guess what i'm saying is that you set up the electro priest to do either so that you kind of overcommit to those grab guys because that's his only answer right now so it's great yep. Yep. so maybe uh electro priest into grab and then the drill into the onagers so all your stuff is out, huh? or would you commit both forces I give myself multiple options. That's fair. You know what? You could be a really good orc player, Ben. <laughs> I am a good orc player. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's take a look and see if the uh, death company are not there. Looks like they cleared them out with melee combat and uh, some shooting. So that's a good thing for for uh, Cullen. That, yep, that is what needs to happen. And I'm curious like, to know if his melee would have been enough alone. That's my only question. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking roll my Prayers! <laughs> so it looks like it's uh, Duncan's uh, movement phase. We'll take a look at the scoreboard real quick. So at the end of one, it is eight to three with Duncan in the lead. Can you uh, move up to the scoreboard? Yep, yep he's got it. So on a three up, oh, I'm, I must be a little bit behind. In more ways than one. <laughs> <laughs> so if we're looking at the percentage right now, Duncan is at a 53% chance to win. Uh, just basically based on uh, point differentials. Oh, you still have, uh, I think on your math, you have uh, Colin at zero points. Right Correct. Now. Yep. I am fixing that. I got to say, all the monkeys again. don't work at once, unfortunately. No, so, no, it's all good. So, which there it is. The no, the uh, captain with the power. Fist. I'm curious if that spins the percentage. I'm, I, I'm, I'm dying to know how this percentage thing works. Yep. So, I just updated it. So, Duncan was up by seven points, obviously at the uh, halfway through the round, at the top of the, at the end of the top of the turn, at the end of the bottom of the turn, Duncan is up only by five. Yep, it just became a super close game, and 
I think both players have the tools to pull this one out, but they're both kind of hurting in certain ways. So you're down to half your sanguinary guard. You have no death come left. You have a drill left. You have the iron Balistari and you have a big problem with grav. So I feel like the MVP for Duncan, if he's going to win this game or are, are going to have to be the, um, electro priest. They're going to have to do work. Yeah, they're going to be the ones to kind of carry it through and to get it get it going. I'm I'm curious to see what he does with Mephisto. You know what sends him in the fight, or if he keeps him back. And Mephisto is his... deep strike his captain. He did. Oh, well, yep. Mephisto's right here. He must have casted wings. Sanguinary Guard are moving up to take out the uh, Grav Squad. Is someone hitting a vape? Oh yeah, that's vape. Can't smoke. <laughs> Can't smoke, might as well vape. It's not like Kenny Boucher off a long war. <laughs> puff, the mag uh, puff the Magic Dragon, is that what it is? Yeah, something like that. Oh, you're right, Unbroken. Uh, no Psychic Phase yet. What happens when I'm trying to do multiple things at once? My wife says I can't multitask anyway. So you guys in chat, what are you doing here uh, in the quarantine? You making models? Obviously watching some awesome 40k action. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. Um, these scouts. I'll go ahead and advance. Ain't doing shit. So they got stumble under that. <laughs> stumble. So they get eight. Who's the guy with the banner right there? Is that a five? Guy with the sanguinary guard looking wings holding the banner. That is a that sanguinary is? ancient. Oh, okay. All right. Thank you, Wesley. This Asarath. He's gonna go over here, get some good 14. And then this ancient. Killzor, preach it, man. Making money, trying to support my friendly local game store. Absolutely, man. Don the Magnificent, working the cleric clinic. I think work for everybody is all upside down. And uh, it's good to have some Warhammer painting, hobbying, even some simulator to keep your mind off of it right now. Yeah, Campbell. Campbell 32 brings up an interesting point. No excuse to not paint models now. I wonder how many unpainted armies we're going to have after this uh, whole quarantine. Still a bunch from me. <laughs> hey, as long as they have Doritos on your base, I'm okay with that. I was going to say, can you get Doritos in the quarantine? Has anyone checked? <laughs> Let's stall out Ben's hobby if you can't get Doritos. I got Doritos and glitter glue. We're fine. Hey, can you uh, share the story of how you got the reputation of having Doritos on your base for those who haven't heard? No. <laughs> oh, man. We queued no, it up. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> so we're going down to Bug Eater uh, as a team. And as we're getting there, I'm thinking to myself, you know, I didn't check the painting rubric. I should really check to see if I need my models base. Because in most ITC tournaments, flyers do not need the base based, like with block or whatever. It can be black. Uh, but your models need it. Uh, so they're the only models with a black base in my army because the rest are on the clear bases that don't need anything. And I, I so I text the TO, Tim Royers, and I'm like, hey, man, uh, What's going on? Do I need this? Like, I can't find it on the website. She's like, dude, you need your models based. Like, I don't know what you're going to do, but you need them based. So I'm like, oh, crap. What am I going to do? It's like one in the morning. I'm in Nebraska. I don't know where anything is. So we walk into a Cub or a Walmart, not a Cub Foods, a Walmart. And I'm looking around and I, the first thing I see is a bag of Doritos. And I kind of look at it. I'm like, that kind of looks like Lava Escape. I bet you I can crush those up with some Elmers and make it look all right. So we could do that, and the only Elmer's glue they had left there was glitter. So, 
I took the bag of Doritos, I bought a paintbrush, and I crushed the Doritos by hand and then painted the glue onto the bases and shook the Dorito bag with the base in it and pulled it out. And uh, I thought it was hilarious. I told Tim I'm bringing Doritos to his tournament. My one buddy was uh, actually unbroken in chat. He was not happy about it because he thought I was going to like actually hurt Tim's terrain and boards and mats and stuff with having this Dorito nacho cheese dust everywhere. <laughs> but uh, after that, you know, uh, he came and took a picture of it and went up online and kind of in the Warhammer community went a little viral. And so uh, I kind of made a running joke of it that the, the rest of that summer I played with the Dorito base. They lasted until Nova. And honestly, they didn't but i just didn't change them because you know they were pretty ragged by uh i would i want to say siege world uh but that's how i ended up with doritos on my base and that's it hey, hey uh ben can i ask you one question no one or two of your flyers <laughs> lost their basing material could you explain how they lost the basing material so my dog ate it <laughs> She somehow figured out where my tray was and ended up licking off the Doritos and eating them. They were pretty stale at that point. It was pretty... That sounds pretty disgusting. <laughs> yeah, they just all just dropped right inside. Okay, in a, in a classic turn of events, I believe he actually threw his models into... Oh, wait, no, here they come. They're showing up. He threw them off the board, probably. It'll bring up a menu, and it, you can pull whatever you want to out of it. Okay. There, Dale is playing a sister's player. So it looks like Duncan's committing his Electro Priest to uh, the little castle that Cullen built in the middle or in the corner of the board. Don't fix it. So actually. Measuring for distance. I'm pretty good with my uh, spatial reasoning until you get me on tabletops, and then I get all confused. <laughs> You're not the only one. Like, no, he's totally good, and then it's like seven inches away. That's why the measuring tool is so handy to have. It is true. I think Duncan's going to put it someplace else now. Wow. Yep. Uh, just by what looks to be an accident, he zoned him out. Um, just be behind the black line. Man, that is not a good target. It, and actually, I wanted to talk over here real quick. Uh, obviously, the Sanguinary Guard are looking to make the charge into the grav right here. The one thing yep. I'm kind of confused about is that Duncan had this squad right here of scouts. Uh, actually, uh, yeah, this squad of scouts into that he could also charge in the Sangrini Guard. I feel like this is a misplay. Uh, you really, I feel like you will have two units charge into this squad of uh, grab one to eat the overwatch, <laughs> the other one to actually make the charge. This is exceptionally hard. You know, yeah. actually, you want to know what I think the, I mean, the it's, bad it's, it's nice the play you, there is. You can't complain. Like, it's, you know, it's free. And if he does it right, it's, you know, it's still a little difficult. He can make it so that Invictor can't get to him. So if he charges just the pod and then right. taps in yeah, and then piles nice. into them, because with the two up save and two wounds, he's really not going to lose any more to those Marines. Yep. He doesn't eat the overwatch. He traps that Invictor back there from getting anywhere. And they can't pull back. They, the, the only way that that works is if they pull back towards the And so then the Invictor would have to move back and not be able to engage the Sanguinary Guard without flaming him. He wouldn't be able to. So really, the cool thing is, is that so he gets to move again, though. He, so Duncan charges the pod, taps the grav. Duncan yep. will still be in combat with the pod. 
uh, for the foreseeable future until he disengages. Uh, yep. and, but at that at that point, you know, you're you're getting free attacks onto that grab squad. That's actually really interesting. Yep, and the pod won't be able to pull back. And as long as you don't kill the thing, the sanguinary guard become invincible to shooting until they decide to go somewhere else. That's huge. So, that's that is the play huge. I would do there. Yep, and the way it would okay, kind of play out shoot. with uh, Ben, what, what Ben's saying is that there's not enough room for that and Victor to get out from behind that box. I guess if you're playing it as a hill or something, then maybe they could, maybe it could, but it kind of puts him in a little box, in a prison, because he can't go around the pod, he can't go around the box, so, and he can't go over the models, so he kind of have to run around, and we all know that his range is only 12 inches with that cool okay. flamer, and that would protect those scouts, objective three, and all those things too. Yeah, on top of that, the Invector, Invector won't even get, be able to get into close combat. That's that's absolutely correct. Man. Ben, you're a really smart guy. All right, hit me on threes. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> so, we talk there might about be some else angles discrepancy bad. here because of TTS. But I also feel like that one Marine so could get trapped where he can't fall back with only two dudes touch that one on the on the left there on the stream. So that also could be a thing too. Uh, the grab marine, I think he's talking about. Ah, uh, okay, okay. It's from where yep. the pod's positioned. Right, right. Actually, you're exactly correct. Yep, you could try point him, yeah. and then what happens is you end up killing those marines on his turn. Actually, this is a really good angle right here. Yep. So charge to the pod. I know we're doing, we're talking over this again, but it's just a, it's awesome. It's a cool strategy. You just tap this one guy, try point him. Yep. And the cool part is that the pod, if you see right there, that, that fin that's pretty much up and down for us, it, it's going to act as one of the try points for that model. Correct. He can't move. He can't move through. Yep. Those two Marines kind of right at the tip of that fin, as long as you get a guy in between there, they are stuck. That's nuts. <laughs> yep. Man, competitive 40K right there. That's awesome. And I don't know what they decided that box is worth, but if that box is not a hill, if it's a ruin or something or impassable, or I don't know what they're doing it as, then that Invictor is just toast. That Flamer's, that flamer's gonna be out of business. For those of you uh, that are that are new to the Invictor War Suit, uh, what does the Flamer do, Reed, and what makes it so powerful? Uh, without the stats on the top of uh, just off the top of my head, it's a it's a 12 inch Flamer. I believe it shoots 2d6 though, um, and, and it's an AP minus one weapon. Strength so, six. Strength six. So it ends up wounding Marines on threes and littler stuff on twos, hey. and it's just that incredible. If you can charge it, it can flame you. Problem. And minus one AP is a is a really just a, a good thing to have. Uh, no matter what's charging you, everything has some kind of armor save unless you've got you know your pox walkers or something silly going on. Work so boys. it's yep. Um, it's just all of that stuff that has any save whatsoever suffers from it. So it's just a good a good tool. And it's, with the it's almost like a our, deterrent. Yep. So it looks like Duncan did shoot them instead of charging them. Yep. Okay. Which is which is a good choice, but now those sanguinary guards standing there. Um, I'm not sure what they what they do now. I don't know if they go try to kill the pod or charge it into Victor. I'm not sure what you do with him. I think they just charge the pod at this point. Oh nope, and Victor's gone. Holy mackerel! Nope. Uh, I'm gonna pick this war suit to be the Daedalosis guy, and we're just gonna shoot all of them into that war suit. Mm-hmm. So it's gonna be. Uh, do you shots. have to have line? Do you have to have line of sight with the Dalus though? The Dominus? Uh, no. Oh, he's right there. My bad. No, no, no. I yeah. Oh, there he is. Okay. Perfect. So I got thirty shots. One. You can. What's shoot, shooting the thirty shots? Six. Okay. So I hit you on. Two, uh, let's just three set three shots. And then I'll probably six. I'm gonna generate yeah. two extra hits because of the plus one for the Dalus. Yep. It's on, it's so this is the problem. Mind, so. This is the, the this is what Duncan kind of created for Cullen, where because of the initial strike by those Death Company, Cullen's now f was forced to shoot his good shooting into Death Company, 
thus making Duncan temporarily better at shooting for a couple turns, where he's able to actually take out key things by, with because he bought himself time at those death company. I mean, that's really all that death company is is really good for anyway, right? Uh, <laughs> Just yep. buying you some time, kind of create a distraction carn effects. Yep. But rather than the distraction carn effects, he's also crippling. He also, you know, took out aggressors and crippled some other stuff too. So it was well played. When you on four or uh, fives, because I'm strength five. Okay. Some of you might have picking out. You wouldn't have fives, right? You said fives, right? So make sure. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yes, fives. You're good. Okay. And let me double check. I don't know if it does off the top of my head, but I think these might ignore cover. Yeah, that's gonna. I don't know if that's gonna matter. Oops, oops, come back over here, guys. Stop. No, they don't ignore that. Two up. Go for it. The pressure. See how many ones I can roll. One. Uh, well, this is cocked. Okay. Uh, this was cocked. Two. Uh, yeah. two? Okay. Arbo. Not work like I was hoping. Alrighty, charging phase. The uh, sanguinary guard are gonna go ahead and declare against your space marine there and the drop pod. I'd like to know okay. how long uh, Duncan's been playing this shots. list. Um, I tried to look up his ITC six. scores, but I couldn't see it There's on there any other time. Uh, not so long. I think um, maybe then, three weeks, four weeks. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yep, there's one. Make three. Five up. Okay. Hey! Okay, oh, I got dropped. Okay. Five, Oop, drop five. Five. Right, you, you hit both. Okay. Yes. Drop hard. One re roll. Two. Watch, watch the drop. I actually kill one. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be Very un the grab. <laughs> not today. I'm not rolling those. Oh, uh, you're talking oh, about the drop one. pot. Yep, there's the drop one. pot Overwatch. Oh God damn it! Oh, there it is. <laughs> wow. That and and I play I play knights. I play chaos knights, grab. and I'm telling you that stubber does more grab. damage than, so than the thermal cannon, um, especially in Overwatch. <laughs> right, it's just the, the way Warhammer is sometimes. That's that is more than accurate. Oh, yep. they are. Don't worry about the flamers. Don't worry about the those, the melt that automatically like hit. You gotta worry about the stubber. Gotta worry about the storm. Uh, storm bolter. Storm bolters. Yes, that's right. So let's take a look at the uh, command point situation right now. So for uh, Cullen, he's at three command points. Duncan's at seven. Mm -hmm. Or no, excuse me. Cullen's at seven and Duncan's at three. Yeah, I've, I have a friend locally who plays Blood Angels, and uh, as near as I can tell, they burn out of command points pretty quick and hit hard, and then you kind of see, you kind of see what you, you kind of scra scrape the bottom of the barrel looking for command points towards the end of the game. If only they had a uh, psychic power to have them gain a command point. And only the cool armies get that. Right. That's right. Like Grey Knights. He'll go against Khan. The Dune Crawler and the Warsuit. Okay. So, uh, M. Delang71 uh, is yeah, yeah, saying yeah, that he has played Flamer. this list. Uh, eight. Hasn't played this list very long. Okay. Okay. What's going on here? There we go. Yeah, looking at his previous scores, it doesn't look like he's played it in another tournament. Um, I've, I listened to the Flying Monkeys podcast. Uh, so I've heard him talk about other lists and stuff. So I was kind of curious four? how long he's been playing this one. If it's kind of been in secret in his basement in his yep. covert ops bunker, he's been practicing this list for the last three months. Or if it's, it's something that's probably accurate. For this. That's yeah. probably accurate. He's good. Good to go. Okay. Uh, nipple. Ben, are you still on? He must have left to go cook some food. Probably sounds delicious. Let's go. Let's say one. One. 
That's okay. Um, yeah, if you're really nice to Ben, he gives you cooking tips, and then you realize that you can make food a lot tastier. Ooh, I need to uh, suck up to Ben a little bit more now. Yep. So when uh, before quarantine hit, Ben was a he he owned his own restaurant. Had was a chef. Apparently, yeah, made some really good food. Yeah, he was the executive chef at a pretty popular steakhouse in downtown Minneapolis. Man, I can't and, wait uh, him, for him to come back on and tell a story of how he uh, enjoyed uh, Oklahoma steaks. I think that was uh, probably his favorite memory of Bartlesville. Really? Oh yeah, that's what I've heard. Um, so you, you did con. <laughs> And, uh, is, is, is there sarcasm in there? Or? There's there's a lot of sarcasm in that statement. Okay, <laughs> it's, it's super funny with super funny with food people. It's like every every place I've ever been to claims they have the best pizza and the best steaks in the world. That's exactly right. <laughs> <laughs> I told him about the the gist is uh. I had him go to one of my favorite places in so Bartlesville. You have to remember Bartlesville, Oklahoma is a super small town. Um, it is. It's in the shooting. It's it's not as small of a town as uh, uh, the King Tiger town where uh, Exotic Joe is from, but it is out there in the middle of nowhere. Okay, so nine with the five. But uh, I had him go to my favorite restaurant, and he was upset because they had one steak on the menu, and it was a sirloin, so it's not like what he wants. Right, right. And uh, but you know what? I didn't want to send him to like. You know, Montana Mike's. I feel like that would be. You're leaving out a very important detail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, caught you. You caught you lying. Oh no, I'm caught. All right, Ben. Tell your side of the story. I and I'll tell asked my side. you where a good steakhouse is, and he sends me to a joint with one steak on the. It's awesome. Yep. I think he cut out on purpose. I just removed him from the channel. We're just kidding. No, you no, you <laughs> but uh, was it good food? Did you have the catfish? Right. I got the steak. You got the steak. Was it okay? Uh, sure. Smash, uh, smash captains. Uh, mulling over some command points here. How are we looking on command yeah, points here? What do they got? One Duncan's point. starved. Yeah, we're gonna do a 3D6 charge into this Dune Crawler. So he's going for the three to six charge to get yeah, after this Dune Crawler. He ignores Overwatch with the, his no. relic. No Overwatch. Okay, I need uh, an eight on these dice. Holy mackerel. Okay. Okay. What'd you roll? That's 18 inches. 18 inches. Oh. <laughs> okay, so the idea is to be outside of an inch. Which I think I'm just a hair too close. Okay, I should I should be okay. If not, you can move me. Um, let's see here. I don't like really care. So it sounds looks like Duncan has been saving those three command points to, to have his uh, captain strike again. Well, I think he just dumped two of them to uh, do the three d six charge right there. Uh, okay. I count up. So I, th I think he's down to one. I'm not positive about and that, then, but isn't it one command point to have characters strike again? Yes. He has, he has two left. Yes. Okay, okay, so you okay, you're count that. counting down. Okay. Got to count down. Yeah, there is there is one to uh, there's one that you can spend where it's three points to fight twice, and there's another one to pay. I think it's two to fight when you die. Ah, okay. Um, we'll put two into the war suit and. The rest into the con. Con! Alright, so Mephiston's gonna go after two rolls. big boys with there. one with no, one I, Mephiston. I did that. My bad. Okay. Mephiston is pretty market. awesome, I'm not gonna lie. Two into the he is. Um, he was my first love of 40k. And strength 10, so we on twos. He was my guy. Minus three. What about me? Six up? No, not you. Mephiston. The real Lord of Death. Nope. Does he blow? Oh, one, one dice, one. Okay, there. Oh, oh, that is some sweet lag. No, he does not. Okay, the rest. All right, and Victor's and done. Twos. Yep, down he goes. Fucking two misses. Cool. Two's to wound you. Three. Uh, four ups. This, how many wounds does your does it do? D three. I will. I'm gonna spend a CP to roll one because I have okay. plenty. And 
good. Just one. Took three too. <laughs> and, 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 and that's and that's why, because unless we're rolling on the actual machine that that disperses, it's oof. It's been a lot of high rolls for both. That's what we both have. All right. Do you want to interrupt at all? Oh, What's up, dead mouth? Points. Yes. Yeah. Con's done, right? <laughs> yeah. Or no, I mean, uh, yeah. That's. No, I'm not going to the CP. All right. The secondary guard. Uh, we'll so, just going to give you uh, <clears throat> kind of behind the scenes. I'm thinking for the elite Actually, eight rounds. I'm going to create a yeah, uh, a kind of a bracket for you guys to fill out and kind of choose your we winners. The axe into there, and then two. And that'll be open to the public, and we can see uh, whose bracket is the closest. I think that'll be a lot of fun. Dead mouth, you're sniffing around 40k stuff. Used to play in the 90s, second edition. Oh, you gotta come back. Yeah, digging out all his old lead models. Oh. And uh, stuff, yeah. TTS plus, is awesome, plus, plus especially in quarantine hammer. D three, D three. Oops. So it took one. Okay. Here's into the marine. Dead mouth. What did you use to play? What armies? Four minus two is on the marine. Uh, sure. Oof. Okay, he's dead. He is. And then so, the smash captain into the dune crawler, hitting you on threes. You're like ones because I'm a captain. Can't beat that roll. Yep. And twos to wound you. Yeah, dead mouth. That's one thing I definitely right. um, agree with. Uh, always keep your models. Right. I got a five up. I got a five up. Never expire. Yeah, it's just shooting. No, we have a five of them. Well, they actually reroll ones too, but. Dead mouth gets a cool orc wow, vehicle. I, I never did. Okay. But, <laughs> I mean, I still. Unfollow still and fail, follow still the channel. <laughs> How many times yeah, can I do that? Flat. As can many as you want. Yeah. In fact, everybody watching, unfollow the channel and refollow, and let's see how long we can get hey. this thing to go. He does. <laughs> rolling, baby. He only does like D3, though. It's actually more inconvenient. Uh. Uh. D3. Yep. Okay. So on my my walker, one on, on your your Joe Schmo. Do I ignore on the six? No. Up oh, there it goes. There goes a dune crawler right there. Yep. Down it goes. Okay. And then I'll just consolidate. <laughs> Actually, let's see. He's trying to get into as many vehicles as he can. <laughs> but he gave up the dream. He did. I don't think he'll be able to try point that dune okay. crawler. Gosh, don't you hate it when uh, someone smashes your be model? Be yours, yours. Oh, I gotta sit back. Look at him go. Uh, drop pod has two attacks? Okay, so it's interesting. Duncan has totally cleared out this right side of the board. I think board control is, is becoming his friend right now. Uh, another interesting development, I think I didn't think we tracked this, but the Electro Priests are standing pretty in the wind by themselves. That is, that is not a good thing. Yeah, and without killing anything, they don't have a whole lot of a save um the one saving grace is that that oh, victor sorry, that that in has the problem of do i deal with the electro priest or do I go after mephiston that is a good point right there uh khan is still alive here i think he has maybe three wounds left or yep three wounds does khan stay locked in combat with mephiston is that the right call right there I think oh. he's going to swing right now, and we're going to find out here. Charged. I think Mephiston wins that fight. Uh, well, Mephiston already took his swing, where I think the Khan um, is going to be able to go twice if he wants to spend the extra CP. Yeah, he's only, he's only strength four. What's the AP? Uh, Neg three. It's his spear. Five up. Uh, 
Meg three. Goes through. Three. One. Uh, he's got three wounds left. I'm gonna yeah. see Peter roll that. Let's uh, see if I can cut him. <laughs> Come on, no, actually roll. Actually roll. What? Does he ignore <laughs> it? No. Nope. Okay. okay. Oh, I totally forgot to charge that guy. You fucking retard. Jesus. Oh, well, that's what we get. Um, Duncan yeah, is upset so for forgetting the charge. I killed my and I snagged One, the two, three, four. You killed four? Yep. Oh, he forgot to charge his electro priest. Yep. This game's going good. I believe in myself. Uh, I think I probably maxed the game hunter by now, right? Oh, hell yeah. Is there a reason <laughs> why I didn't fight twice with the con the to finish off my. Uh, are 26. Yeah, that's probably a good question to ask at the end. Uh, okay. 37 right there. So, so right now they're they're scoring. I think you had two on this one, so 39. Uh, actually, you're one away. Oh, no, I mean, uh, Reed, what do you uh, think uh, Cullen's strategy is uh, right uh, now going uh, into uh, turn two, uh, bottom of turn two? Well, it's kind of the same as it was with yeah, turn one, where he's 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 got a okay, he's got a flooding boat there, and he needs to get as much water out as possible. He needs to get rid of Mephisto, and he needs to deal with that Smash Captain. But he still needs to get shots downrange. He still needs to deal with those Electro Priests because they aren't gonna they aren't gonna be they aren't gonna stay there. They're gonna be coming at you, and they still got the uh, Iron Striders. So. I think you deal with the problems that are here. I think you send the aggressor into Mephiston. I think you send the Invictor into Mephiston and just stall with everything else. Do you think the uh, Scorpion would do well to target those uh, Electro Priests? Yeah, as I recall, um, especially their smaller guns can do a lot of damage to them. Maybe the bigger guns into the Iron Striders or maybe over to the Sanguinary Guard. Well, actually, I can't because I can't because they're locked in combat. Yeah. Yeah. It, you know, the Electro Priest only have a, uh, I believe, a five up invul now since they haven't killed yep. anything. Yep. The, even even the close combat scouts might be a decent tool to roll out and go after. Well, then again, you don't want to lose them because nope. if the minute those guys kill something, you're in trouble. Yeah, I've learned that the hard way with uh, 30 orcs. Yeah. <laughs> it was a bad that, day. That is a hard lesson. It was. It's between that and the chaos uh, Lord was separating plate. Oh yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh. So basically, Separate. every every save a uh, chaos Lord would make on a four up, uh, it would be a mortal wound to my boys. And I've yep. lost thirty to twenty to thirty boys before attacking a chaos Lord with separating plate. I mean, I've been having stuff in face-to-face -face contact with me the entire game. <laughs> Trying to do something. And and what he's talking about right there, I don't know. If, that, that is. What well, I've do. had stuff in base-to-base -base uh, combat the entire game. That that's entirely Duncan's strategy when you're playing something like the Steph Company list, where the goal is to mitigate their shooting, not with cover, but with touching it. And that's exactly what he did. Turn one, and he's he's been doing a doing a good job. Turn two, and yours. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm here for you, brother. Don't worry about it. It looks like uh, Cullen no, is moving the scouts up to contest objective three. Yeah, what's his invul? Uh, not. Okay. Does he have anything special? Uh, he has that relic, and then he has an arm, a carmite sword, so it's just like a power fist, except without the minus. Well, I guess, excuse me, it's just like a power sword, except it's D3. Okay. Or so you can go right over here and say hi. Okay. Should be ten inches. I, I'm sorry. I tried to go up and over. Let's get a school, quick Let's score just, update. Back. Here we go. Hold on, Chicha. Wow. Uh, okay. It is currently sixteen to three. Um, I... Yeah, scoring that turn one bonus. Ignores just the watch. Put it right on the back foot. I'd be really curious if you were to spin it around. Cullen, go first to see what happens. So the math has a uh, Duncan at a 74, 75% win, win percentage right now. Uh, I, I think that, I don't know how you've come up with that math. But yeah. I, think I think that's about what mine would be right <laughs> yeah. now. Yeah, that's pretty, it's pretty steep. I mean, he is ahead. Uh, he is definitely ahead a lot of points. So. 
Five. Well, it looks like a six to get within an inch. Yeah. Let's say then, yeah. Six. All right, so yeah, he's going on the offense. He's uh, going okay. for that Iron Striders. Watch right there. Something this turn. Hey, Dead Mouth, those tanks right here, they're a new Skatari unit called uh, Scorpios or Scorpius Disintegrators. Uh, Reed, do you play these at all? No, but I have a friend who plays them quite a bit. Um, they are a hover tank, which is kind of like a different version of fly. It's not quite as good. It can't fall back and shoot, but it can move and shoot without penalty. Um, when you buy the kit, they're they're expensive kits, but they're really good. And they have uh, they have a transport option that's kind of like those those um, World War II transport boats, or you can make them into this tank version here. And the tank version, I believe, has three different weapons on it, kind of situated for any kind of strength or toughness seven or below kind of target. So they have a very versatile amount of guns. They shoot out a line of sight. And they're not too expensive points wise. And they look sweet. They do 112 look points. Dope. The main gun's got 3d3 shots of strength Cognis. six, minus one, two damage. Has nine cognizant stubber bolters, essentially, or heavy stubbers. Uh, yeah. That's important because they have a stratagem for stubbers or cognizant. And then it has a missile launcher, which is d6 shots, strength seven, okay. minus two, I believe, d3 damage. But I believe that one gets a minus to hit when you're not shooting Let's, air. Uh, let uh, do some shooting, shall we? So it's a lot of shots for 112 Let's points. Your okay. For sure. You're, yeah, I know, right? Your captain only has a three up save, correct? All right, yes. going into the bottom of turn two. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to small off. As far as the uh, score uh, is concerned, uh, uh, excuse me, Duncan is maxed the, out big game hunter. Uh, almost maxed out recon and born for great born for greatness to score two points. I'm learning the art. Uh, <laughs> I feel pretty confident to say Duncan is going to uh, max okay, so out uh, or get at least really uh, close to maxing out all the secondaries. Do you feel like it's the same way too, uh, uh, Ben? Not a not not if Mephiston dies. If that's his born for great. It is. It is. But he has two points, so maybe get you know a third one. So the tough part is that he's got. I'm assuming the one he picked up first was holding an objective. Yep. And the second point he probably just picked up was kill something in close combat. Now whether that was a character or models, that makes a big difference because he pretty much only has characters to dunk from here on. Okay. Uh, you know what? I mean, uh, the opposite. I mean, the characters are going to run away from him. Two. So I hope he killed the character so now he can go kill like a dune crawler or this war suit uh, or, if he lives. Oh, but he is sir. staring yeah, down. Is the aggressor still alive? Uh, There's yes. one, yeah. CP to re -roll that. Interesting. Okay. That's, that's the, oh, actually, no. So you're, you have three left, right? No, I'm not going to burn a CP to re-roll that. Okay. What's we'll just go through yeah, yeah, Dead Mouse, uh, 40k is 100% different from it you'll was even six months ago. <laughs> uh, the one into a so I'm pretty sure it's 100% different from what it is uh, back uh, in the 90s. Yeah, it's uh, the, the cool thing about Games Workshop and kind of getting involved with Warhammer again is you get a dynamic game, everything's changing, it's fun, you get new stuff constantly, but the problem is is that a lot of people get pouty because their cool thing gets nerfed or their their favorite army isn't quite on top right now and you know, gone are the days where you have a codex that's awesome and unstoppable for three years. So things are much more fresh. Unless you're Eldar. Yes, one less. Oh, By the way, Jason, everyone who follows during the stream, I'm just gonna assume that they're following because they think I'm always yeah, no, it's actually, I mean, this, you know, the only variable that has changed play. between uh, <laughs> yesterday and today is that you've joined uh, okay, the stream. So, so I think with, it's because uh, you're doing a great job. Could be. We'll do a small arms you can buy my, uh, you can buy the Reed Stowe he shirts at the Tiger King your, gift shop. Down. Uh, actually, he'll do small arms. Your Reed, Reed Stowe underwear. <laughs> glitter. <That's right. laughs> my rap <laughs> album is also available. <laughs> And you know what? Maybe, uh, you know, we should make shirts that uh, Carol, Carol Baskins did that, you know? <laughs> well, I, I don't want to blow it right now, but I'm waiting for someone's dice to crap out and blame Carol Baskin. But uh, it, hasn't, <laughs> it hasn't quite happened yet. I've been, I've been sitting on it all, all stream waiting for it. But, uh, oh, man. 
Well, maybe when we get you on, you can say Carol Baskins. That's uh, right. That's right. <laughs> I'm going to direct into your uh, to the, the captain. Uh, so small arms, indri- uh, small arms, indirect to the captain, missile. And- okay. Ooh. So uh, he's going. He's shooting into Mephisto right now. So I can watch you make six up safe. How many? There's what? a gentleman's one. I'm gonna burn nice, a CC through all that. There no, it is. See? Oh, I already did. Oh, I already did. Just one shot. Uh, it hits. hits. Need a three. There's a wound. Neg two. Okay. Neg two is still five up. Nope. No pressure. Oh yeah, it is a four. It is a four. Hey. Hey, How much damage is this? D three. Don't worry, I'll roll one. Oh. What? What are you doing? I was thinking about. I was thinking about. It, but it's too late. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry, man. You gotta be quicker on that CPU. <laughs> you know what? If it was a three, I bet you like, well, I wanted to re-roll it. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. You gotta see what the dice is before you say you wanted to re-roll. Uh, all right, Smash Captain. I told you, if I didn't have bad luck, I'd I miss it all. Uh, okay, oh, so uh, just small just arms. Just uh, Mephiston's taking missiles to the head and things like that. Small arms. Um, so He's elected to shoot kind of roll. into the Mephiston Smash All Captain hit. situation rather than shooting Four down. Swing. Oof. Wow. Uh, five. It's interesting. Dead Mouth apparently has uh, 20 squats. He also Two, asked five. earlier if squats are alive, and the answer is sadly no. They were I w- retconned. Okay. I will trade you the squats for three rolls of toilet paper. I think that's about a fair trade at this point. That's one, two. <laughs> no, squats are cool, and I, you know, Threes. squats are, as a codex aren't around anymore. But I see them all the time call. showing up in uh, in Imperial Guard or Ad Mech lists or whatever, just as a as kind of a fill in or a proxy Threes. unit. And uh, I think Ooh, they work great one. for that. And I think no one will ever have a problem using squats. You know what? I really think when Games Workshop is looking for a huge new right. army to sell, it's going to be squats. Yes, it's got to be squats. I would I buy a, like $2,000 uh, worth of squats here, if they released it today. Uh, Did you ever hear the rumor about why they don't? This one fell down. No. Well, my understanding is that in the early days when uh, squats came out, the guy who invented them, like a guy invented them and said, hey, you should add this to your thing. And they were kind of picking up independent people and independent writers to kind of come up with codexes. So the guy's like, but here's the only thing as I own the IP. Uh, okay. And so and so some guy owns the squats. And so Games Workshop just kind of just released him saying, you'll never get another penny from us. And but it's owned by some guy. It's actually not GW intellectual property. I mean, I mean, we could, they don't have to be squats. They could be, uh, space dwarves. Yeah, exactly. Or, or like, uh, dwarves, right? You know, the Eldar, so we'll call them dwarves. That's right. Missile, small arms, and lose mortar into, uh, Mephiston. Okay. Um, so small arms. This is what hurts my guy actually the most. Uh, one miss. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Into a one, you can see it because it doesn't roll. Oh. Fours. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Small arms for the win. It is. It's, it's awesome. <coughs> All right, three ups. Proving once again that the storm bolter and stubber are the most deadly. No, oh, he's dead. Two, three. There's no way I can yeah. roll three sixes. I, I believe in you. Oh. One. <sighs> About it. Oh, Imaginary CP to help you out. Yep. I needed him to live because if he stayed in there, that's a born for greatness point. Uh, I did not need him to live. Um, was that indirect into Mephiston? Uh, woof, six, seven, eight. I will take that. That's a good roll. Eight shots. Eight. Well above average. Come on, Mephist's on. Let's do this dance. See, Colin's getting all excited now. He thinks he's going to be able to ace out Mephiston and turn this thing around. Any threes. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, neg one. Three ups. Three ups. Come on. Come on. Ugh. Oh, yeah, he's dead. He really wanted to go at that point. Uh, six wins. Oh, 
Okay, he's dead. You you still did make half of them though. <laughs> That's two headhunters though. Wow, yeah, Mephiston is, just bit we're, the we're dust. Gonna go, we're, we're gonna go for three. Oh, yep. Let's try. Okay, moving on. Mephiston um, smash captain my, out. That should uh, close him out of a born for greatness. Or no, my dreadnought, my uh, my war suit. Um, he's gonna uh, flame small arms. Uh, heavy bolter, and he'll just shoot everything, everything at the guys that came out. Okay, in the drill. Uh, into the drill. Uh, the flamer, not the drill, the the electric pieces. Or yeah, that's what uh, I meant to say. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so four, four, four hits are uh, four. The flamer. Uh, three neg ones. Five up in bolt. Question mark. Two. And five up, <laughs> kill no pain. Uh, One dude died so far. You can hear yes, the I sigh of the range. feel no pain. Looks like it. Oh, no, I, yeah. think I'm, I think I'm actually you're, in. You're, you're good. Can yeah, I get a go judge? Can I get a judge? Yeah. No, you got it, dude. That's uh, good. Uh, titty. Titty weapon. The titty weapon is not the technical name of that gun. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's definitely not titty weapon. I think it's like it's... a storm bolter. One wound. wound? Well, yeah. if it's a storm bolter, you'd see it popping Imperial Knights. <laughs> True. Good yeah, point. Ignore it. Yeah, heavy stubber. Iron hail, heavy, heavy stubber. I bet that's it. Uh, two hits. One? Uh, one. Failed. Try again. And died. Missile? And this is an assault, so this one actually goes. I see that one. Ugh. Brutal one. Uh, hits. 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 Wounds. Wounds. Damn. Try again. Jesus. I guess. Okay. Uh, I got five pistols from the scouts shooting at them. Good lord. I think this squad's gonna die. That's that's how you gotta do it. You can't risk. You can't yeah, risk letting these, them loose. I think these are gonna be out. Um. Master, they're all so not White's car. Uh, Master Artisan, still miss. Two hits. Two wounds. Uh, yes. So on tabletop simulator, like one thing he, he keeps seeing a measure stuff. It's it's a little tricky to figure out where the ore is nice. beginning, okay. begin and end. Shit. So it's something you really have to pay attention to when you're playing on a simulated versus tabletop. Uh, uh, I got five scouts shooting at your scouts. Okay. My scouts shooting at your scouts. Master of Artisans. Two. Two. Four, Four hits. hits. Master One. of Artisans. Two. Two. Four ups. <laughs> Watch them go down. They're Fair supposed enough. to flip down into the ground, but they didn't do that. Couple scouts die. I feel like this is okay. a really big turn uh, for uh, Cullen right now. This is going to be the turn uh, you're going to need to turn it around. The Sanguinary Guard are kind of out of the. Because uh, okay. they're sure. holding number two sure. and drop right. pod. And what are you going to do? Are you back? Or are you going to leave them there? So he does have one more character with Astaroth here. See it. Uh, full squad of Bal Balistarius. Mm -hmm. Um. Sangrene Ancient. Okay. And my captain. The Slaplin right here in the middle. There's a Slaplin right there. I think that Slaplin is um, Collins, isn't it? Yes. Excuse me. Sorry. 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 Yep. yep. So I think I think the play is to touch those irons or the Balistari right now, and then to take out the Sanguinary Ancient, and then and then okay, Colin might be sitting a little prettier. Uh, captain ignores Overwatch. He's going to charge into um, six uh, into your uh, suits or your uh, vehicles. Okay, shoot it. Go away. Go for it. I think it's the psychic power that gives them the ignore. How much you want to bet? I got to burn a CP right here. Don't ever no. say that. That's a curse. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nine. Uh, nine. Okay, my chaplain. 
uh, is going to charge. Now, Reed, do you think that Duncan has a, a high enough lead that uh, he'll be able to yeah. hold on to this? No, my chaplain's going to Yeah, he still has solid board control. Uh, what's, what is going to come down to? It's like those, the, uh, he's doing uh, it right now, but he, going into the scouts. Are the scouts going to be able to hold objectives? Is what, What's going to happen with that objective number two? Um, it's it's going to come down to objectives. You got to rack up the points. You can't just kill. You can't just table. If he has one scout left but a higher point lead, he's gonna he's gonna move on, and Colin's gonna be left behind. So you know, he's gonna figure out ways to score the points. Right, and the interesting thing is that this uh, drop pod is 100 percent are uh, farther than three inches from the objective. So, uh, in all fairness, you could leave this drop pod alone. Scouts. It's not going to do anything except maybe get a recon point for, or excuse yeah, me, not even a recon point, just get an old school point for. Yep. Uh, if he's in, if he's in the zone, I guess. I don't know if he is in the zone. Yeah, that could be could be true. He might not even be in the zone. I don't even think. Right. He's, I think they played. Uh, what is it? Vanguard. Yeah. So he's not even in the deployment zone. Uh, War suit is going to charge into your priest, your secondary ancient. Could you show uh, Cullen's secondaries real quick? Sure. I think that's really what it's going to come down to here. Is uh, that's a no. If Cullen's going to turn it around okay so he's he's he's, he, he's got the old school butcher's bill and headhunter has he scored a butcher's bill yet oh he did just he did did this turn unless he well he takes those points as headhunter then he can't correct so he's probably so they have how many shots why did he choose butcher's piece, bill is that correct it's, it's a the, strange uh, it's a strange pick um i guess it's for all these little scout units is my, is my mic off but it's uh, isn't it twenty man or is it, is it ten? No, man butcher's now? bill is two units a turn. Two, two units a turn. No, okay. Oh, that's right. That's right. I'm thinking of uh, Reaper for some Reaper. weird reason. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be eighteen shots, and it's still generating. I could be mistaken, but I'm pretty sure. No, I, I guess no. For, but I think those Iron Star Balistari are a perfect target for. Um, uh, they're gonna attempt to charge your for uh, gangbusters. Your, your guy. They are. Uh, just him. So I mean, if you would have picked, if you'd have picked that instead of Butcher's Bell, I think you're talking about he four points like right now on this gun. time. I played against it yesterday. He has like it's, it's like two shots at strength six. D, D three shots. D three, yeah. Whatever. So my question to you, Reed, do you think uh, Cullen wants to charge the scouts into the Electro Priest? It's probably not worth it. Nope. Um, I mean. Well, you got you got 17 attacks going into seven electro priests. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's worth it. I think it's risky at this point. So he's going into the guy instead. Going into the data list. Which is which is a good choice. That's another headhunter or butcher's okay, yeah. bill. You're going to he decides to go start with, with uh, my war suit. Actually, you have, you have no CP, right? You can't even. I have no CP. You have no CP left. Yeah, we'll start so with the, the So the so fact that he doesn't have any CP left to interrupt yeah, is it gives you carte blanche to do whatever you want. You don't have to worry about battle order. You don't have to worry about okay. charging too uh, much stuff in. Six um, I was listening to uh, Thomas Hegs from Oki talking about it on Art of War, and he will oftentimes keep two CP, just sit on them until the end of the game, just to keep you from being too aggressive. And that just knowing that I have two CP and that I can interrupt will oftentimes cause a player to play more restrictive or play more passive and uh, slow down the aggression a little bit. So I really think we're going to see these numbers, these win percentages change here uh, right after this turn. Mm -hmm. This could change it. Three damage, right? That is, that is, that sucks. Cause he has four wounds. You've rolled that roll. That's, is that the uh, third time this game you've rolled three out of <laughs> three out of four or five ups? Sorry, I don't uh, know. It, it's all good, brother. Don't worry about it. Get good. Yeah. Get get good or get better? Question mark. Get good. Okay. Move. Uh, moving on to. Wow, the, that's huge. The uh, Sangrene Ancient your, uh, uh, only middle. took one wound. Okay, so they have. Oh no, it has one piece. wound left. Excuse me. Um, yeah, ideally you want that thing to die and guys have so many attacks in close combat now. Yeah. And move on to the next thing, but the sergeant. I'm not really sure what the play is. I don't think the sanguinary ancient's gonna do it. Okay. It's back, it's gonna have to fall uh, back. Or if it stays in uh, combat, then you get overwatch one. again. So I have one master artisan. 
One, Bam one, Jitsu two, says, one, get one, good. Nice. Yes. Four zero. Toughness is, toughness is four? Yep. Yep, thank you. It's uh, top tier advice uh, like that. Not a lot. Like I got one like master artist. Five? Six. Sages of our, of our hobby. I mean, he is a hey, grandpa. Is it's true. Yeah. Uh, well, old, old people just look smarter, too. Yeah. I think next year we should all chip in and get him a scooter. Yeah, well, I'm trying to do the opposite with him right now, and he knows what going. <laughs> That works. Okay. Uh, we'll do my five scouts and do your two scouts. Wait, please. I guess roll these. Well, a hot scout on scout action over there in objective. Yep, near objective three. Master of Arts is on that. You know, the one thing you I really like about uh, Tabletop that Simulator too. is that oh, you're right. you get really awesome camera angles. You do. And it's perfect uh, camera angles. Yeah, you can just like zoom in, you can kind of get the action, you got the dice rolls on the other side of the screen. You, you know what I like? You don't see oh, any shit. people's uh, heads, like ball caps or shiny yeah, domes. Ugly faces. Ugly faces, yeah. <laughs> Nine. That's the worst thing when you're looking through a room. You're yeah. like, oh god. <laughs> Beautiful models, ugly face, can't help you. All right, there goes uh, Duncan's scout squad. I feel like he's slowly getting all the board control removed. Yep. Characters are doing work. On the charge. Base chaplain. I believe so. Now, do we know if that, that smash captain or that slap captain, he actually has a fist, not a. Not a so, thunder hammer. Is that right? So the jump okay. captain does uh, have a power fist. Five. Okay. And the uh, yep, and that's what and he has. One. Yep. Okay. That just six up the Coronas. But the only reason why we take a power fist yeah, over a thunder just, hammer is just to save or, save points, just, yeah, right? That's that's right. There is something kind of cool you can do, and I don't know if you did this or not with white scars, where you can give them a master okay, crafted thunder or a uh, fist, and it becomes basically. On average, better than a thunder hammer for less points, but you have to spend the CP to do it. So, I'm, I don't think that's what he did, but it is an option specifically with white scars. And then strength. Particularly when you go into assault doctrine, obviously uh, he can't do that because he's still adding mech. But um, four, 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 six ounces. Do you think we're going to see a lot more lists with uh, Imperium uh, as Imperium damage? taking ad mech or something uh, no, or sisters? Oh, it's uh, a fist. Because oh, after I the see. new Space Marine nerf. Yeah, I really do. Uh, um, when time Space time Marines were overpowered, yeah. there's no reason to take any. That's okay. Uh, there's no so reason to splash anything else. Their doctrines is, are too uh, good. Their um, bonus two doctrines two or their three. super doctrines are too six, good. And now with now with those all getting nerfed, I think you're going to see a lot more of this. Five or six, five or six, six, six. Okay. Uh, okay. So he has two on him. We'll do the first one first. Uh, for two. And then okay. So hold, up, hold up. Hold two up. Two more. So okay. That was your damage. Yeah. yeah, no. So this is this is your damage roll, right? Yes. So to randomize <laughs> what order it was going. Oh, in? I I got I got what you're saying. Okay. Okay. Uh, so one two three. Yeah. That was so one. roll a d6, so, and that'll be the roll. first. So one. What did you say? One two three four. We roll five six. Yes, that's correct. Okay. That's correct. Okay. So uh, I'm two. gonna take one damage so far. So this guy's up to three. Pull this. Next yep. one. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Sure. sure. And for you guys in the chat who are taking a break from so coming back to 40K or are thinking about getting into it, next Tabletop Simulator yeah. is a yep. and then and then another one sample a little bit. It's not nearly as good as a tabletop, but it's at least something to yes. to get you into it, get you to try different armies, get you to try different gameplay styles and different missions. Okay. So I highly encourage it. I, I was not a believer this system until quarantine started so but now i am <laughs> i encourage you all to go out and spend your 20 bucks and get good at uh tabletop simulator yep all the armies are free uh maps are free you just find an opponent yep that there are dino nope go broke buy new models okay. Here you go. man you know what's funny i've tried to get dino to play in this tournament to prove how <laughs> awesome texas was and he's like, nah, really Texas isn't really school. that good. That's what he told me. And I'm like, ah. Oh. Did, did I? <laughs> I thought so. Just kidding, Dino. I love you, bro. 
But what I like about it is you can actually do um, smash. You could use uh, so like, all uh, like you can build armies like three hundred crew, three hundred grots, and see how they yeah, do. Sure. Yep. Yeah, just just a four up. Well, actually, your chaplain has four wounds, huh? Yeah. Now, we'll go all into the uh, captain. So, it's going to be eight attacks. It's kind of weird that they have that many attacks, but okay. All right, hitting on. Breeze, evidently. Okay. Mm -hmm. Real ones because my data loss is back there. Or my uh, Dominus. Strength six, or strength five, so when you want threes. Yep. That little Daedalus can pack five, a punch, six. especially if I... I'm enough to kill him. It's not going to. Uh, I mean, I only <laughs> failed three out of five. All right. Uh, Daedalosis will swing back at you. You remember when Mephiston kept making all those saves of five up and six up? Yeah. Are you jealous? Does it happen with my rolls? He only gets two attacks, the Daedalosis. It's uh, on. Okay. Yeah, fours. On back. Both hit. Both hit. Mm -hmm. Strength four, so when are you on fours? Yep. One at a minus one. Bam Jitsu, that's exactly uh, correct. Reed is doing an amazing job today. I would oh, say he is the uh, John Madden of the 40k world. Hey, dude, as soon as I can figure out how to get this mark on the screen, I will be John Madden. <laughs> well, I'm actually coming ever. up with something where uh, you might be able to remote into a <laughs> computer and do that live on air. Dare but that's to dream. Dare to dream. Dare to dream. That's exactly uh, right. No, so, and I'm strong four base. So one. So one. Okay. Uh, neg Minus two. three. Nice. Six. Is a sword. No. D three damage. All right. So. One. I thought about it. We did. It was the slowest of moves. Oh, they got one. Okay, cool. Not really doing much back to the Invictor, oh, but that's that's what you yeah, need. Anything left? You need that Invictor to hang it. out now. You uh, need him to overpower these weaker, weaker, wimpier characters oh, you want and to units. Into the Electro I, I mean the vehicle, the uh, thermite thing. All right, Reed. Go for yeah, it. It's cool. It's I all good. I forgot. I, I think. Forgot. How I would think, you play Duncan's that, next turn? I don't know that you'll be able to stay outside of answering my electro. Tree, so. so okay, so Duncan. Okay, Duncan is gonna need to. He's gonna need to protect those iron star. Balistari. Yeah, can they can't hang out in combat, so well, you gotta run them over. Yes. I think up towards objective number two. They're they're caught in the middle. They can't go through anymore. You got to get him out of there. Okay. You got to send in Astrath. I think that's who's there. And he's got to come and help out with those characters. Yeah, I don't know and those characters running up the middle by, by objective three are your big no, problem. Yeah. And uh, you got to you gotta get through them. You yep. You move them down I, that I way. Yep. I believe in you. And uh, you gotta help, yep, and you gotta use oh, every other every other unit you have to protect <laughs> right. those. I do remember that. <laughs> yep, Iron Striders. Uh, I think I think you have to get the um, Sanguinary Guard into the fight. I think yeah. you send them over to the Iron uh, Honor Gardoon Crawler and all that at least to distract. <laughs> that should be uh, strength ten. So. At least to put yeah. pressure on the backfield. Yeah. Would you Hopefully be afraid of the Scorpius so in the background guys. of uh, be able to shoot? Yep, they're gonna be able to fire at something no matter what. I, I think, I think they're going to get their really shots big. off regardless, and I think I think you have to protect right, those yeah. Iron Striders right now. Um, so, I hold one. Okay. It'll be what holds you out of this game. So, if yeah, you move so up the Sanguinary Guard, one. causing the, uh, the Scorpius to shoot at them rather than uh, taking uh, out the Iron Striders. Oh, you do a leadership you two so, these uh, three the Sanguinary Guard models, you just Characters, move them up, scouts. threaten just to kind of threaten as a distraction Carnifex, right? Yep. I move, uh, move them up, yeah. maybe not as far as they can go, maybe trail them back because one guy's on objective uh, two, and then the you set it up. You, you basically start distracting two with them. You, if you can touch an honor, great. Yeah, if you can't, you can't. But they won't be able to charge this next turn because they'd be falling back. You got to send Astrath in to go deal with those characters. You have to um, 
You have to get. Yeah, the, I think the real key to victory here, the key to keeping the victory, is those uh, those uh, electro priests. You're gonna have to kill those scouts and get them powered up, and then deal with that in victory. All right, so it's uh, power them up. Yep. Would you? Okay, so here's here's something that I, that that I want to can maybe propose to you real quick. So yep. in this combat, I propose that Duncan leave uh, the Sangrene Ancient in combat. Okay. Uh, the Electro Priest will move down. So I killed three. I think I got two on Headhunter. And then he 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 will also so in his turn he'll charge the uh, scouts, power him up to get a three up in vol. So yep. and he also will uh, oh, actually excuse me he'll before then he'll multi charge both soul, the Invictor soul, and the Scouts. Target okay. the Scouts at really first for the three up invul, then the Invictor. Points. Yep, to avoid the flamer. Well, yep. You, you've put me in a, in a and then right now. now he's super powered so, and uh, you know you what he could probably even wrap that Invictor. Yeah, the thing with the Invictors, it's got that stupid fist that will that will rip dudes' heads off. Now with the three up invul, and you never kind of know yeah, so he's a, he's with that. But so his shooting is only part of the game. There, that that fist is really good. So I think the uh, Electro Priests win out that fight, but it uh, it really comes down to that three up invul. Yeah, and also so I think you got to get them powered up. We still have Khan in the backfield. Yep, right over here. So he can also yep. get in the mix the next turn. Yep, and that solo aggressor. Um, yeah. Right, right if, in this, this could, area right here now. Objective one. Uh, maybe Colin can move one of these Ongers onto the objective one. Uh, that way the aggressor like, can, yeah. uh, or excuse me, the uh, Dune Crawlers can kind of push up the board. String, so it goes off yep. The three up. And then if you can poke that aggressor's head around today. Electro Priest, that'd be great, and depending on where he puts them. Um, we'll do that aggressor can five. still this aggressor can still do quite a bit of damage to the priest. So it does go off. It does go off. So that's uh, what you don't want is you don't want to let Cullen just okay. make the decisions on where everything goes we'll back here. You need to keep putting pressure on him, keep tying stuff up, keep causing him to shoot at things in his lines rather than shooting downfield. All right, we, so he's bringing he's bringing up dudes here to start supporting and protecting. Objective sitters are now in the game. W what unit was that they just moved up? Was Admac Rangers? Uh, yes. Okay. Hey, Colin, do your uh, canticles or your litanies, excuse me. Uh, got it. Uh, I gotta do both of this. Uh, Helping his buddy out, reminding him about the canticle. I'm just gonna. Yeah, this is actually being a really awesome game. Very yeah, tactical. It's, it's co quite close. Yep. Pick the nope. So we do need to get hey, a I score I update get real quick. I can't wait. I love that math thing. Show me the math. Yeah. I'm half Asian, so I got the kind of <laughs> good half uh, of math. Hey, Wesley, did you, did you happen to remember which, which one of these Doom Brothers? All right. Are these? So we're getting closer on the score. We definitely, we definitely are. Duncan scored another bonus. I guess I didn't realize that. I suppose he did. Objective number two. Okay. I mean, scoring 18 points in three turns—that is, that's, that's really impressive. Yeah. Uh, I'm not—I'm not gonna lie. That, that's that's like really good. Yep. Yeah, it is, and it's it's uphill for Cullen, and he's gonna have to—he's gonna have to play his way out of it. But I think he's got a chance. I think he's got right stuff alive, and I think he can fight back. But those bonuses are what's gonna kill him. If he loses by one or two points, it'll be those early, early turn bonuses, early game bonuses. Right there. Does that get yep. The, the percentages just stayed just about the same. Mm -hmm. oh, that's what the okay. So, still looking good for Duncan. Uh, what's really cool, we even made like a little chart. I'm really proud of this. So, if you were just joining us now, originally uh, based on Duncan's previous tournament performance, he had a 10% <laughs> chance to win the game. Dude, that's awesome. <laughs> I like this stuff. I like it. And, uh, I mean, like the it. thing Beautiful. is, like, turn one, uh, his, basically his his death company just went ham and destroyed uh, an Invictor, and um, he just destroyed an Invictor, right? 
I think is what he destroyed I the Invic he destroyed the Invictor and crippled the aggressors. That's and right. And then touched That's a whole right. bunch of stuff. Yep. So pretty pretty awesome i'm really impressed with this game i feel like it definitely is duncan still lose but we still have lots of 40k to game 40k to play yep and uh i'm not a great chess player but i know a little bit about a little bit and uh a general strategy for chess is to hold the very center of the board there's like a square in the center of a chess board that comprises of four squares and if you control that you pretty much control the game and uh that's kind of what colin's starting to do over here with those characters and uh astrath is gonna try to put them down i put one wound on this guy so but have Colin's trying to reclaim that center board and objective number three. I did one from and so this is this is going to be where the game's decided. At. This is right in there with those two characters against Astarath. If Astarath gets died, he can pile back into those iron, or, uh, those iron striders, then Duncan's hurting. Sounds about right. Now, I don't think uh, Astarath is uh, looking too good. I mean, I don't think he can take on two characters at once. You know, I'd have to relook at his stats, but um, like, is his axe unwieldy? I can't recall. I don't believe so. it's the executioner's axe. I don't believe so. You have eighteen points. Yeah, up here. real quick. I do actually have the uh, dusted it off just for this game. Blood Angels Codex. Yeah, so it's not unwieldy. It. So it's hitting on twos, minus three. It's going to be strength six and D3 damage. But if you roll six to wound, it's actually flat three. Okay. Okay, let's see. So I got four was within three. I got that one. I got that one. Now I'm trying to figure out how to snack the bonus one more time. Do I fall back this ancient? Yep. So he's he's going through the no. same thinking, Jason. Where he's trying to figure out: Do I fall back? Do I move up? Do I, you know, do I leave it there? There's no sense in giving it to him now. He's wow. positioning these. Pr oh yep. my gosh! He just moved it. Yep. yep. That. Actually, I think. I think that's the game right there, guys. It's it's gonna have a lot to do with his Invictor. Yeah. He's he's clearly a little stuck about where to put him. And because these guys aren't these guys aren't um, white scars, right? These scouts. No, those are those Raven Guard. Oh, okay, okay. Dude, I cannot, I cannot grab those wound markers. For I got the you. Life I got me. you. Thank I you. you. I don't know why. I don't. Oh, I don't think that's the I right call. Forget that guy. That's me. really interesting. <laughs> do not, do not yep. worry yourself, sir. I'm on it. <laughs> All righty. I, I think that's what I'm gonna actually. Uh, so Bamjitsu is saying that no, Astarath can buff that. himself. Uh, yep, I, I was looking at that. Here, so before I get too far, I think I actually might fall him back behind these Electro Priests. So he's no, going to be I able to reroll failed hit rolls. Never mind. Forget what I said. That's pretty good. I was trying to get two. Yep, so he's hitting on two's, two's rerolling. Yep. yep. Okay. Yeah, let's go to shooting. Um, we'll just start with these Electro Priests into your War suit. Yeah, yeah, and the Daedalosis will get. I don't think it's a. One. I don't think it's a solid so either way on who wins between Astrath, the Chaplain, Smash Cat, or the yeah. Slap Captain. I think it's. I think there's going to be some involved math in there. Yeah, no joke. Now, as I recall, okay. with the termite drills, the don't aren't they two. pretty decent in melee? And don't they have melt guns? Like, wouldn't that be great for an Invictor then, Warsuit? Yes. <laughs> and I'm also surprised why he didn't have the uh the transport move up and even get into charge range right, with the invictor so I got one, yeah i i one. i know it's in combat it'll be falling back and everything five i think you still want to set yourself up it's only on it's only on sixes right it's uh no it's on fives and sixes cause can, oh because you're because you're because you're done yeah, you're done yeah. <clears throat> Bam Jitsu says, if dipstick players remembered. Okay. So, accurate. And then wounded you on. That's probably accurate. On I think, uh, 
Bam, if you could probably clip all of the advice we had for Duncan, it'd probably be like three hours long. Duncan's, Duncan's played a pretty good game. I, I, I don't think he's... I mean, I think there's some mistakes being made, and of course it's going to happen. Um, but that early that okay. early strike with the death so company and, and <laughs> a lot of that stuff has been was 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 well played. I would agree with that 100. percent Quite a bit. That is quite a bit. And this time he's but, not going to be getting covered. In your defense, in your defense, they've always been quite a bit rolls. <laughs> uh, okay, let's uh, pick some wounds, shall I? So these are yep. wounds on the One, two, three, Invictor? Four. Okay. That was almost half. Oh, a third. That was actually statistically Fire average. I like it. Fell back. Uh, I will put... Yeah, I'm gonna range. I'm gonna put one crack grenade into him, into your captain there, and then four pistols. So the crack grenade on a three. Oh, that was the bullshit roll. One hit and a three to wound you. This is a classic uh, tabletop simulator cheat where you put your model over the wound runner so that it's the only. <laughs> uh, this is on the warsuit. No, he actually moved closer the, uh, to the uh, electro priest. Oh, okay. Yeah, on the scouts. Um, uh, uh, roll it. Four up. Four up. Good. And then yep. the pistols, need threes. I noticed that in Tabletop Simulator, you can't and use a water cup I to bump your bottles. Um, a little disappointed by that, but... Oh, wait a minute. I'm gonna find a mod for that. <laughs> yep. So if you guys are just joining us, this is uh, Game 3 of Quarantine Hammer. It's a uh, single elimination, 16-man yeah. bracket tournament. Something else is going to have to pick her. Okay, so one CP, a fail. Oh, I got it. Nice. Okay, good. Nice. <clears throat> All right, so down here, my galvanic rifles, rapid fire 15. I got one, two, I think three in rapid fire, and then everybody else is out. Try to bring small arms fire to take out these characters because, like I said, I think these two yeah. characters. Okay. Um, if they go down, uh, then threes. I think I think he's pretty much crippled. Uh, no ones to reroll. And wounding on fours. <laughs> Four <laughs> saves. Uh, AP, yep. The six. There's one that's a AP minus six. It didn't matter. Okay. Or minus one, excuse me. Yeah. Um, these other five, I think they're all in rapid fire. Yeah, they are. So I get ten shots from them. Okay. Hitting on threes. Nice. Reroll the one. How do you get in the reroll one? Oh, because your trait. My canticle. Yep, canticle. And then fours to wound. And then the sixes are AP minus one. All Nothing. right, let's see what happens so, there. Two. Uh, still two through. getting through. Still, still do it. You're good. good. Nice. Oof. That's, a, that's a huge... Uh, yeah, and, sh and it should be, Colin. I don't <laughs> know much see. about your butthole, but it should have been... Part that is the correct uh, uh, position. going to be it for <laughs> shooting. Okay, so he made it out of the Go shooting ahead. phase. Now, now we're charging. back to the Astrath um, against these two characters. I mean, at this point, do you? Is gonna if go this ahead is and your position right the here, and the would you charge everything, scouts, just to help help tie these models up? Well, you know, it's curious, and I meant to mention this before the game is that <laughs> I'll never understand this: uh, why people take bolt guns on Blood Angel scouts. Um, it's times like now that you really wish you had uh, 17 you know, wounding on good, three scouts to go it. into that ca that That's captain, you, you know. But because you don't, I don't think you can. Ten. You get plus. Yeah, plus one. Yeah, yeah. But it works. <clears throat> All right. So now he's okay. These. All right. We're gonna see if we got any heroic intervention. These scouts are gonna go ahead and go into the captain as well. All right. See how far they go. Yep. So here they come. I'm Let's curious to see, see how this goes. 
And uh, for you for you playing at home, just imagine you had five more attacks um, scouts, because scouts. he chose bolt guns yeah, instead it. of do the combat it. knives. Hit or patter. Here's a uh, hit or patter. Come at her. Command point situation. Cullen is at three, and Duncan has zero. Perfect time to interrupt. It, it goes to that point you were making uh, with Thomas extra Mikey <laughs> saying, yep. "I always keep two in my pocket for interrupts." Uh, yep. What is the correct way Duncan should do this combat? Then Duncan needs to swing first with Astrath. That's just absolutely has to happen. Um, if he doesn't get to go with Astrath, then it's it's going to be a problem. If Cullen's able to wipe Astrath and all five of those scouts off the table, those I can almost guarantee that those Ballastari will be touched again, and he'll be set up for another great turn. Uh, yeah, the war suit can. So this game's going to come down to the war suit situation. And characters in the middle, um, mostly the characters in the middle. No. Yep, see, no, he's got no, a problem. That's not worth it. <laughs> yep, he should have okay. left the uh, Sangrene Ancient okay. there. You have enough yeah. to interrupt, don't you? Well, you'd be able to get a charge off. and um, I will interrupt with him. Uh, I guess maybe. I don't... Well, I got to swing first. I guess the shooting did yeah, the, the wound, yeah, so maybe not. Um, so, Astaroth will just pile in. Huh. I, I, I don't know. So he lays down on top of my captain. Yes. Uh, Astaroth should have... I think those iron priests are going to be pretty much out of the game here in a minute. Um, there's just too much stuff that can shoot them or deal with them now. Let's do it. Let's yeah, do I agree. It. I think, again, and what we I talked about. With, yeah, I think uh, you're right. I think you're right. I really think that Sangrene Ancient having it leave combat was is, is essentially one of the one of the mistakes that he made. Um, uh, yeah, and Duncan's yeah. a really good player. And uh we Isn't it right. nice to be able to sit back here and make fun of other people play when we have no stress and nothing to worry about? Yeah. It's we really get to nice. zoom around and look at anything we want. Man, I do this all the time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose you're an expert at it. I am. I've been doing this a while. I just ask the open-ended questions, uh, and, and then I get people like you that know more about the game. To, uh, I know give a little me bit about opinion. a little bit. A little bit. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. You'll notice that all the good, uh, yeah. the good stuff I've been saying is stuff I've quoted from other people. So, <laughs> hey, that's good. It's your stuff now. <laughs> uh, yes. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I will. Um. Or up. No pressure. No pressure. Nope. Okay. D three F pop. Uh, he, he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Uh, before he dies, two to fight. Yep, I figured you're gonna do that. All right, he's so he's fighting on. in death. <clears throat> What's he'll swing on the scouts? He'll okay. do, you have five five scouts there. Yes. What is uh, what is Astro's uh, st toughness, strength, wounds? He's toughness five, five wounds, and a four up and bull save. Four up and bull. Yep. Uh. uh I'm gonna do one on, one on. Oh, he's, he's going for uh, going for everything. Uh, we'll do two on the scouts and uh, fuck. Uh, so yeah, two, I, three on him and three on the scouts. See and I never I never like splitting attacks uh, like so this. It's just, scouts, I don't see how uh, you're gonna get me, enough out him. of it. Yeah, yeah I freeze. think I've heard that you want to do forty percent over um, what your expected damage is. Okay. I would say that's fair. Artisan. All three. Four ups. Oh! How much damage are you gonna do? Uh, I don't know. The dice gods have it. Oh, wow! That's enough to kill him. Damn it! Oh. Perfect. <laughs> Stakes were made. Yep. Perfect. I, you, you still got my 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 warlord though. And then the scouts. One hit. Hits. Wow. Two hits. So he got lucky. Oh, I, yeah. <laughs> I, he's gonna make me eat those words. Oh, don't wow. slip. Don't One slip. Dead. One dead. They slapped Holy me with mackerel, the old uh, guys. dice. Yep. That was nuts. That was yep. nuts. You killed one though. <laughs> you know, and and, and uh, that's but just. Now, but now that's, my I guess when you're when you're Chaplain bound by consolidate? nine points, no, turn three, you're gonna him. you're gonna have yeah, to play. You're gonna make some risky plays and kind of live or die by them. That's accurate. 
Some syntax still. I feel like this game would have been over if um, Astrath was still alive. Probably another head on her. Yes. Yep. Damn, he is not wanting to hit. Who's to wound you, though? There's a dead scout. That's stupid dead scout. Is the drill swinging right now? Is that what's going on? Two scouts left, huh? Uh, okay. Um. I think that was maybe the Daedalus? Two scout, okay. And the sergeant. So um, I got a fight with my, uh, Sanguinary guard here, real quick. They're gonna. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, go for it. I think it was the drill fighting. I could be wrong. Oh, I've been wrong once before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so Duncan is still um, trying to fight but with the Sanguinary have, guard. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if he's text. actually gonna try to get out now or just hang out. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, there's a right. strategy where you don't use your good weapons. Your basic attacks to never do any wow, damage, okay. sit on the objective, but and be involved, lives. vulnerable to shooting the whole game. Or there's the break it, and so two we can get out of two. here quick. Two out of minus two? Yep. Uh, Please actually try to swing at it. Okay. <laughs> Jump on right. and not swing back. <laughs> okay. Is that, uh, is that it? Oh, yeah, my, my scout's actually got attack. Yeah, scratch the uh, uh, drill. I am, the, the slow grind is real. Um, I don't think I can. Uh, okay, that's three hits. Six hits. Big negative, Ghost Rider. Okay. You hold one, you killed one. Yeah, but don't I get bonus. So. No, no bonus. bonus. That's huge. Thought about it, but no bonus. <laughs> Do you have to have the full unit for a recon? No, it's just partial. I got it. Okay. Well. So there's the max on the recon. Uh, Born for Greatness was probably going to stall out on turn two. Three. So uh, if you if you can go back and listen to the beginning of the stream, that's exactly what I predicted would go for him. Okay, I thought definitely he'd max I'm out Big Game Hunter, max out turn recon, and then get stalled out on Born for Greatness with two or three. Uh, oh, that's right. He has the fly, doesn't he? Yes, sir. I was like, why are you doing that over the terrain? But I forgot about that. Uh oh, I think my math is wrong. <laughs> What'd you do? Uh, Chaplin's just gonna jump over. <laughs> no, Pretty much, that's not right. Oh, well, we might as well chop the stream, yeah. ladies and gentlemen. We got a hundred and one percent chance uh, to a negative. <laughs> yes, Captain. Ignore, he does not ignore okay. the watch. Okay, that's good. Oh, your ancient's right there, right? Yeah. I think uh, it doesn't go up to to nineteen. Dude, I think it only like goes up to max is eighteen points. <laughs> They're so so bulbous. There so we large. go. Wasn't oh, this stuff? That's wasn't cool. there? Uh, I could be wrong, but doesn't Colin have ten? Oh, he might have updated it. He does. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sorry. But we are on the bottom of two. Mm -hmm. Ooh, these are just gonna fall in. I think them. I think the game is gonna go rather quickly now. Um, Reed, do you think these uh, Iron Striders are gonna get uh, touched again? I'm not sure. Um, I'm curious to see what he ends up doing with that Smash Actually, Captain. Did I kill more than you round if, one, if right? he's or me, that Captain you, or Chaplain, he's got kind of two options. One. He can you try to go for no, we tied. Iron Striders, that's or right, he can right. start hitting yeah. squishy targets with them. I was looking at at this like, point, I think I'd start right? hitting squishy and pile into the Iron Striders if possible. And that's because uh, you want uh, what is it? Uh, Butcher's Bill, is that correct? Yes, and um, if you spin around underneath his ruin, I assume there's not a whole lot left. Oh. It's like we got a scout squad and some more rangers. So you jump down there and you knock both those guys out and maybe for a turn you have a you have a kill more, you have a butcher's bill and you get your extra objective. And all of a sudden now you're getting a kill more, your secondaries are starting to rack up and then you're holding objectives. 
Yep. And then, uh, well, it's interesting because now these Iron Striders are free. Oh, uh, yep. we've got two oh. Doom Crawlers and yep. Scorpius to target them. I mean, that's going to take out a whole bunch. Yep. Now, now Cullen can start using his superior shooting to kind of turn the tide. At least right. that's what he needs to do. Um, he's, you can see he's trying to get angles with those onagers. He's trying to use the Invictor to I I take out that whole chunk of the board. Expensive uh, objective holder, <laughs> aggressor. Yeah, and he's still got the aggressor sitting there, which I guess that's yeah, fine right now. Dead. You can hear the feel badsy from Duncan. <laughs> that's right. In, in, if, if we're wearing VR glasses, they so would be coming down our my, No, I don't, I don't think it's going to matter. He ain't going to see anything. Okay, so he's going to have to go the other way. Been a sure very tactical are... game for sure. Yep, yep, and it's it's been interesting, right? It's at first it looked like it was going to be it's a steamroll. I thought I'd be playing Legos with my kids by now, but uh, Colin's been shift. hanging in there. Tabs. There you go. There you go. I think that's good. So, Colin, whenever you pick him up, press the tab key. Did yeah, I out? was trying that, and it kept. No? On, I was like trying to draw. I mean, it's, it's a pain. Yes. I was, it's on me. <laughs> hey, Jason, um, can okay. you hear me? Yes. That, okay. That I got a pop-up, and I don't know if it's from Discord or what, saying oh, I, I've yeah. been timed out. Uh, no, that was... Um, Steam? I think I think that was Ben Levy. Oh, okay. Sure. Okay. I just, I just so happened to stop talking, talking right at that, that moment, so I thought I lost everybody. I thought I was by oh, myself hey. again. Right, read, read okay. double check uh, to make sure you're muted uh, on uh, this. We'll Steam start chat. with the, the uh, tactical war suit. He's going to shoot uh, basically everything into Perfect, the uh, priests. Hey, no problem. Shock on that one. I've yeah. been really funny. They could hear you talking this again, shall we? As we oh, make fun of Duncan. I mean, that'd been that's typical. Priests, <laughs> and all my pro strats, they almost well, got for free. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 okay, that's Jeez. That's 11. Eleven. That's much better. Uh, so there's seven. And 11. Uh, okay, that was one reroll. Uh, uh, eight. So it appears that his chaplain's yeah. going to jump right over and start going with the squishy targets. I think that's the right call. And what it. I don't know what those scouts oh. are kind of sitting on objective three. I don't know if Raven Guard, I don't know if they're. Is it cocked? Um, Oh, it is. Yeah, it no, is. White scars or what's going on with them? Sure? Nah, you don't have to worry about it. It's fine. Okay. So it was, it was blade, it, yeah, it was like overly a five. Let me, uh, uh, let me okay. pull up their lists. Uh, if you're looking for lists, you can actually go to our website, lordmarshall.org, and click on so Quarantine bracket, Hammer, uh, and you'll be able to get some lists for all the players. But I'll apply the same logic to this. In addition, uh, let's take a look real quick at the bracket. Two, two, leg one. Two, leg one. So on Monday, we had uh, Ben Churn versus Steven Hetmeyer. Uh, ben won with his Grey Knights. It was a super entertaining game. Um, uh, ben fought three Wraith Knights, and uh, it was really cool because one point in the game, Ben had, or excuse me, Steven had tanked 20 some odd mortal wounds. So that was pretty amazing. Uh, last night, we featured as Kyle McCord and Steven, uh, or Sean, excuse me. And uh, it was kind of a, a get go from the from the from turn one. Uh, the Wolfen were able to do some work, but not enough before Kyle's Imperium list was able to just whittle whittle down those Wolfen. So uh, tonight's winner uh, is either uh, tonight's game is Cullen and Duncan, and tomorrow we're gonna have Bam Bam and Mike play. So that's gonna be awesome. I'll be fun. I like the versatility and the diversity here in all these lists. It looks like you got a lot of different factions represented. Uh, yes and no. <laughs> there's, a lot of so? I mean, there's a lot of Imperium. There's a lot of Imperium. Not a lot of chaos. I did notice that small tier, but you got you got Drukari and you got some orcs and stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty excited for that orc list. That's uh uh oh my I think it's James Thomas. And sure. he is pretty excited to to play that. So, Good. looks like Killzor is excited for Sunday. 
we are too, man. We are too. So I actually have a question. Uh, so uh, weapons are 36 you're inches. You're in range. Yeah, you're in I've range ra and you can see them, so you can shoot them. Yes. Okay, so I, I can shoot. Okay. Um, it's it's stupid, but yes, you can. So this is a small okay, thing so in tabletop it simulator. Um, it does weird math when you go over stuff, add inches and whatever else. We're going to shoot. So that's uh, what they're talking about right uh, there with uh, you can the, see them and they're within uh, range. These guys? Okay. And then with the, with the mortar, he's going to shoot into your uh, Dominus guy over here. Ooh, well, my sanguinary guard are probably closer. So. Oh, good call. That's probably going to be accurate. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, then they're going to dump everything into uh, the, your bites. Okay. <clears throat> and your neg one to hit? No. no. That's only, oh, the, that's, that's that's only the, the other guys. Is someone grabbing my dice and throwing them? I think, I think our game's haunted. Okay, small arms. Small arms. Uh, Reroll. Uh, I'm not sure why that rerolled. Uh, call gets four rerolls. That's not a reroll. Okay. Uh, two misses. Five to wound me. Five to wound. Killzor, I think you are right. It does adds the height of the terrain to ranges. So you just got to be careful. Sometimes you have to move the terrain to make sure it measures correctly. Nice. That's all. No. Try again. Try again. Orders. Uh, three, four, five, six. Ah, uh, thank God for call. Oh, those are not rolls. I had three rolls. Oh, good. good. Five hits. hits. Four is strength. Damn. <laughs> All right. Wow. Here we go. Oh, uh, you just got it. <laughs> uh, okay, moving on to the next one, which is actually closer. There we go. Small arms it, into the scouts. When you're this far behind, you okay. can't have that. You uh, just can't no. have that. Like, and this, this is not what you need. In, in all fairness, Cullen had a really okay. good dice turn yeah. last round in combat. Yes, when he, he was did. able yes, to yes, split yeah, combat so and dunk Astro in, in right. with what, two punches, I think? Three? I think so. I think it was so. nuts. Uh, two or three, yeah. yeah. It was something that the, that the dice gods shined upon. And, uh, okay. They're fickle beasts, but they chose to favor Cullen. <laughs> exactly, exactly. All right. Eight. Fours. Uh, five. That's yeah, a good pickup. Belisarius Call. Helping yes. out big over there. Four ups. Man, that's one of the uh, units that I hate in the game. They did. In melee combat, he's got two up save. Uh, missiles. He's got, like, Many. power fist for every attack. He has tentacle. Six. I mean, it's just nuts. Yeah, he's a he's a cool addition to the game. Jerry looks great. That's a thing, dicks. <laughs> if anything was gonna be a bag of dicks, yes. <laughs> all, all hit. Okay. Uh, four wounds. Four wounds. Six, Pretty six good. Up. Six up. No pressure. Uh oh. Okay. Good damage. I gotta, I gotta right. roll him one of the. Uh, oh, that's no, D three. Yeah. So the first yeah. one. I gotta roll him one at a time. Kills the Two. guy. The next one. Okay. Two. Two. Three. So two, so two died. And then they have six wounds apiece, right? Yeah, so you did five, and then that last one would have killed him off the six wound. So I'm pretty sure so if he took gangbusters instead of butcher's bill, he would have uh, killed by now. Does the one yeah, let's take a look at his blows. secondary objectives real quick. Oh, you're oh. done, but yeah. So Cullen is no, almost know. maxed out headhunters. We can stop it. One butcher's bill. He'll probably get another one this turn, and then he'll probably definitely get a, uh, another point for secondary for behind enemy lines. Yep. And last strike. Yeah, more than likely, definitely last strike. So I feel like maybe uh, Cullen's secondary objectives maybe uh, is probably going to be closer to nine or ten. I feel like that's probably pretty accurate. Yeah, I think I think uh, you're about right. I think it's a, a good prediction. But uh, you know, once again, this spot. is one of those times where oh. watches look and see if you would have taken gangbusters, you would have gotten twelve instead of nine or ten. You know, and those couple points might matter later on here. Yep. He's gonna go on this one up, up here. Thank you. I don't know why I can't grab those. Science. Okay, moving on. 
Uh, my... Okay, my Doom Crawler. Uh, he's gonna shoot everything into that unit. No, back that's there. that's right, Wesley. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Oh, you good? Yeah, I always do it. I do it backwards from everybody else. Uh, so Doom Crawler into the, this unit in the back. Okay. <clears throat> Here's the Strength Fives. So at this point, with only three Balstari, um, no Smash like Captain. Forward. A wounded sanguinary ancient. He has no way of dealing with those four hits, those artillery pieces, One. and those long-range guns in the back. So uh, three neg. It's gonna tubes. really come down to Cullen, seeing if he can scoop up the last of these. Negative two. Last of these units. Uh, the last uh, wound on the sanguinary yeah, guard. Two, the no, the like drill. Three. Sorry. These small three. units. I feel like if uh, Cullen is able to oh, get okay, rid so of yeah, the neg. Ballastar or the uh, excuse me, the Iron Striders. Or excuse me, two yes. Right here in the middle of the board. Order, That'll order, uh, relieve a lot check. of stress and a lot of pressure on that middle board. And then yep. it'll open it up. But if he is not able to get rid of these Iron Striders, um, it's interesting. He didn't actually take his jump captain out of range to charge. Right. And so he can still charge and finish him off. But if they survive to Duncan's next turn, I feel like, again, like I said, these Iron Striders are definitely going to be the MVP of the game because they're going to be able to pick up this Chaplain jump, jump Chaplain, um, and then maybe hide in the back and maybe take out this Invictor War suit that's at the bottom of the screen right here. And then all Duncan has to worry about is this corner up here where everything's at and board control is gone for Colin at that point. Yep. No, he does not. Okay. And that that termite drill, Victor War suit kind of yes. area is kind of a kind of a red herring. It's um, there's no objective there. There's really a, not a lot of points there. Um, neither player really needs those points or those objectives because there's nothing there. So the key will be to, to get out of there and, and get and get deeper into the zone, get towards number six, get towards number four. Or for Duncan to get that termite drill working back towards his backfield, start ramming Onagers. Scouts yeah. have wounds on him. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah, he had wounds on him from the scouts. Yeah. It's right, it's right here. I think he had two, right? Yes. Yes. So he has he's got two left. Daedalus is still holding on. Okay. Okay. Two left. Yeah, they're notoriously tough yes. to kill uh, for well, the, the, the big one missed, so. Okay. Actually, I can. Uh, it's fight phase. And surprisingly, the oh, scouts rolled. are still alive. Uh, okay, so done. 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 <laughs> done. Um, done. Uh, Chaplain's gonna shoot one shot into the the scout there. The one, the red. Okay. Hits. Now I'm curious to see if Cullen, Wounds. um, when he and he's gonna charge those rangers, covers, I so think, yes. and then what he's gonna do is he's gonna. I, I think if he gets a decent roll, he can jump to the opposite side of those rangers and then pile into the iron striders. Whoops. No, he doesn't have a little thing on top of it. So he's dead. No oh, worries. If that makes any sense. Uh, okay. yeah. uh, I can see that. Charges. Or he's going to go right over through the wall. So. I think, well, but if he goes through the wall, okay. that means... These iron striders can come in and flank and they'll be the closest target. Is that a wound? I think I think uh, you you made the right call. Uh, Where suit goes by saying, okay. Chaplain okay. charges. I'm just gonna move him on to the side. And then okay. pivots closer uh, to and wraps the the Iron Striders. I think that is the right call at this time. Uh, yep. My yep, just just touch him. You don't need to you don't need to be fancy with. Uh, nope. Yeah, Go for it. I, I mean, if you think about it, that's three turns the Iron Striders have will not be able oh, to do anything. Oh, oh, I saw that one. <laughs> I saw. Oh, we have a charge coming here with the con. Oh, so. oh, there we go. And now we're in. Now we're in with uh, oh, no yeah, Overwatch the charge. Gonna charge into your. Oh. Well, we made the right. I made the wrong call. Okay. Uh, <laughs> three shots. Three shots, sixes, nothing. nothing. 
Don the Magnificent uh, uh, on that's Sunday. That's okay. Uh, we'll start with the, uh, oh, the chapel. Look at our uh, little bracket. I believe. Ranges. Okay. Actually. It's going to yeah, be. I think it's JT and Sean Dilly. Looks like. Five. At two o'clock. Okay. So if you want more information about uh, the bracket, check out or list and player profiles. Check out uh, our website, lordmarshall.org. Click on Quarantine Hanger. Ha uh, hammer. Quarantine Hanger. Yeah. Uh, my my uh, getting tongue tied private here. Plane. Yeah. So Charge tomorrow, uh, six o'clock. Uh, ben or excuse me, uh, Bam and Mike are going to be playing. Space Wolves versus Imperium. Um, it's going to okay. be pretty awesome. Uh, we'll start with the... Uh, let's do the horse suit. I'll do uh, two on your... Uh, two on your uh, Ancient. And three on the... Three on the drill. Uh, Ancient's going to live. Actually, actually... <laughs> it's, a, it's a good call. The drill's actually really good in close combat. Uh, we'll do four on the drill. One and on the one onto the Ancient? One on the Ancient. Okay. One on the Ancient. Okay. She gets gonna try to ace, ace the ancient oh, right here. Oh, nope. And she gets wounded. Oh, five she up. get that five up. Oh. There we go. All right. So once again, he gets away with splitting his attacks. I think that's greedy. I think it's. So it I think it's take, crazy, but it you know he did it. He did it. Oh, He's done it twice this time. This time yep. this game. Well, when you're down by 11 uh, points going into turn three, so one, two, um, two, you got to start. Two, you got to start two, taking two, these chances, uh, and they're paying uh, off for them and they three, uh, clawing back. Goes through six, six damage. Oh. Should tear him. Yeah. Ten wounds? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. He's definitely. He should be. Yeah, they have is he at bottom? Yeah, they have uh, no, he needs to have one or two to be on the bottom. Got it. Okay. Uh, we'll do the con next. Colin's got okay. six How many wounds does that drill have left? Uh, he just took four. Six. So he has four left. Uh, okay. Uh, Con has uh, six attacks. Rerolling ones. Nice throws. I saw all hit. Yep. Strength eight. Uh. Three. That neg three. Six up in bulls. Oh. I'll uh, go through three. three. So yeah. the first one. It oh, one. Does not kill him. So the second one will kill him. And then the next three. One. Oof. Does it oh. Wow. Man. So does my guy blow up? The one that died? So to consolidate right towards you. Uh, the, the chaplain. Uh, uh, hey, Wesley, well, one of those guys has a wound. Just put it on the yeah, one like the cons on. Just one wound. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. The chaplain has four attacks. You have three base plus one. Okay. Does that sound right? Uh, Thanks, chaplain. So. Uh, roll? Yeah, because of Massive Doom. Or whatever the hell it's called. Who's wounding? Yeah, is, it two, is it two? Yeah. I know, I'm only strength five. Yeah, it's, it's, it should okay. be three. Right, master of Arts. If he was a Blood Angels guy, then. Okay, make two. <laughs> four. Yeah. Two. So, so I got things. six ups. All four die. I feel like uh, my alpha will go ahead and swing back at you. I feel like Duncan is using oh, uh, losing scouts. units left and right. Oh, yeah, I yeah he is. And this well, is just... this is where the butcher's bill. You gotta kind of do the math and go. How many units does he have left? Yeah, you almost don't want to kill everything at this point. You just gotta chip it away and set it up. And Duncan or uh, Colin also has to plan for line breaker and last strike as well. Four. 
one. Uh, Master of Artisans. Oh. I don't forget about Master of Artisans. One, one. You're T8, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh. okay. Now, I think now he brackets. No, he's got, he needs to have one or two to bracket. Oh, so close. Um, <laughs> uh, Dreadnought can't swing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Let's see if he had to text the drill gets against D6. Six. Four. I'm assuming you're swinging um, on the big guy. <laughs> yes. Let me double check that his weapon skill is modified. Oh, yeah. I think he's going to be hitting on fours now. now. Or maybe maybe five. <laughs> weapon skill does not mo- is not modified. It's Duncan needs some Cullen luck right now. That's right. That's right. His most of skill does, but his weapon skill does not. So hitting on fours. Yeah, Cullen started out with bad luck, and then oh, got a couple ouch. crucial Strength. split attack 14. Murders. So I'm on twos, aren't I? Yeah, uh, it was yep. pretty nuts. Is it 14 on the charge? No. But it's, this thing uh, was like it says times two. It says times two. Nice, just flat out. Nice. Uh, if you suffer any damage on a two plus, you begin suffering mortal wounds. And it's uh, successive, so I need a two plus, three plus, four plus, and so on. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oof. Uh, but I got you three wounds at a minus four. Okay. Yeah, I can't stop it. So. <laughs> and then it's flat, flat three damage. Each. Yes. yes. Okay. Yep. He blows up. <laughs> Don't do it. Uh, Don't do it. Well. Don't roll six. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's probably. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Oh, do yours. Goodness. Okay. Need at least a three. Um, <laughs> yeah. Do yours. Well, I'll do I, your scouts real quick. I don't know Go if that me. was good or bad. Hey, he kills his scouts. Wait a sec, wait a second, wait a second. Daedalus, oh, he's gotta get that Daedalus. Uh, really... But let's see if my drill blows up itself. Oh yeah, good call. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was kind of hoping for a I'll chain reaction, but... That would have been pretty yeah, awesome. Help. <laughs> that was huge right there. I had to kill him, he was a monster. He chew, chewed me up. Um, okay. You got some, uh, some lead checks to do. Oh, uh, I guess I'll do these guys real quick. Yeah, All scouts are dead. Yeah, they're dead. Thank you goodness they have their right? their nanny cleaning up after them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah let me tell you, uh, Wes Someone Anderson, needs to. Wes Anderson is, is the TO captain. for the Branson Open, and he is a uh-huh. super awesome guy. Uh, Branson Open is is early June, so I think the quarantine will be done by then. Uh, in Branson, Missouri, I like to say that is uh, Vegas Jesus. Yes, uh, yes. Out there, all from under Ned Flanders. Yep, Ned Flanders. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, they're going to be hosting a GT out there. It's going to be a pretty awesome event. And uh, Wes, you can't hear us, but we, I do want to say oh, thank you for being willing to be the oh, TO and the judge. Uh, we ho- really do appreciate uh, what you're doing. And for cleaning awesome up after quality. these dirty monsters. Yeah. I mean, uh, exactly. Hate those rolls. Because <laughs> you can see it. You're like, it's not uh, even rolling. It's just picking up. On a six. No, they're good too. Uh, scouts lost one guy, so they're okay. Okay. Uh, okay, so I hold one, two, uh, so you hold yeah. more, but I, th- I think uh, I yeah. got killed. Though. Killed this, is, uh, th- this is where if that Invictor actually went no, towards oh, four. Yeah, you, yeah, you, no, if that, and that Invictor went towards four instead of the me. drill, maybe maybe you'd be yeah. having an alive Invictor tied up drill and Wait, then hold one you hold you two, start threatening I hold four two. No, 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 we, no, no i have this back one so you think the the right oh, play was actually moving up the board instead of targeting the electro so, priest i thought the same thing for a second yeah instead of instead of going into the drill there i think attack this uh, objective four and, you got and just left the drill i think you make the drill chase you i think you make the drill do okay yeah wow i think the drill is exceptional at four. killing uh vehicles uh, but it worked out for him, you know. Once again, I'll have to eat crow on that because surprisingly close game. Oh, I, I agree. All right, let's take a look at the score. That, it's getting up there. Is, is really important. Yeah, I didn't kill enough of it because they're just they're just gonna remove stuff now every turn. Okay. Helen was able to score five per points it. that turn. Yep. That was huge. Yep, he's coming back here. Yeah, I think uh, no. these next couple turns are going to be pretty quick. Angel scouts, go beat up on the chat. Yeah, what you're seeing on like Duncan, turn three there. Game, man. <laughs> you see those? You see on turn three, they finally tied on the primary. That's what um, it's supposed to be. Duncan got all of his 
points early on, and now he does. Now he can't get any more secondary. Points. So now it's just a matter of can Colin collect enough secondary yeah. points and keep him from scoring more in the primaries and turn this thing around. If I place that guy there, does that get me out of line of sight? It sure does. Now, if you even take a oh, look at the no, uh, the chart right now, we can see the first turn and a half. Duncan definitely peaked up there at a 74% chance to win. And uh, I don't know. I feel like turn uh, three and or turn three and fours, he's probably definitely going to uh, decline 100%. Yep. Yep, and all it's going to come down to is can Duncan tread the water uh, for Colin to stay out of it? Right. He's got to sit, think about every little point and every little hold more. Yeah, that's what she said. <laughs> of course, you got to have that joke in every 40k game. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then that guy. I got you, man. I got you. I'm here for you, brother. I got you. <laughs> this is the one thing I'm good at. Crazy. <laughs> it's the one thing I'm good at is moving those bad boys. Okay. He's gonna go there. It's Dominus. Right so you see the dude sneaking out to jump on objective six and to jump on these objectives and everyone's going to be moving to just nickel and dime every little point he can if duncan's going to win that's what he has to do do you think it was smart that duncan went first i mean i do feel like that was the right ploy with his the, the way his army was designed yeah i think i think it was I mean, in my experience, I actually, like with my orc list I used to play, um, uh, I'd always plan on going second, deploy defensively, scouts. then move up the board. Up. Uh, yep. Yeah, I think, and especially well, with yeah, these new secondaries, is when you're the second player, you know how many kills you got to get to kill more. You, you know how many, um, okay. how many objectives you have to sit on to hold more. You have a complete say in that. Yeah, so as long as you have the troops, you can just contest objectives and you can get to where you need to be. Right yeah. um, we're, of course, going first. You have that sweet alpha strike. So his alpha strike was effective, I think. Yeah. I think I uh, the sanguinary guard, charge. devastator, uh, centurion situation got a little me. out of his hands. Um, and I think I think that some stuff just didn't pan <laughs> out for him. And there. now it's just kind of slowing slowing down and he's got to figure out what to do with the rest of the game yeah i agree i think uh we had our other co-host on venture went on earlier today and he was wondering why the sanguinary guard were even on the board i think that's a really good point right there yep especially when you got a, a pot of grav sitting up in space you know what they're going for you absolutely have no question in your mind they're gonna go for those uh sanguinary guard as soon as they come down they did and with grab amplification and everything else, they they took out five or six oh, we, we right away. Roll, we have to roll on our cannibals. But man, it doesn't matter. Uh, we all forgot it. We all forgot whatever. it. Whatever. It's, okay. it's, it's, it's on. It. It's on me too. Okay, all six hit. I need fours to wound you. Okay, That's that one's just gonna be weird. <laughs> all right, four saves. Okay, two up and cover. Good. Good. Uh, this scout's gonna throw a crap grenade. It's need a three to wound you. Not today, and four, not three pistols. Excuse me. Uh, two hits, fours, one. Oop! Two up. Get up there. Oh! Shit. <laughs> oh man! I'm sticking them. Lone Ranger is going to shoot. The Lone Ranger. Hit. Oh, I, he fell back. Excuse me. Yep, you're right. Um, I think that's going to be it. We're just going to go to uh, some charges. The scout's going to charge into your chaplain there. So, do it. <laughs> so it's a I'm risk, ready? but he's got to do it. Oh, there we six. Go. Not today. Master Artisans. Oh yeah. God damn, I always forget about that. 
Why do you? This is another one of those times where I just I think when you're playing Blood Angels, Angels, you want those those combat weapons, not a bolter. I think the bolter scouts are from uh, like sixth edition. Yeah, so and I, I think they they could serve a point. I could be and talked into them, but not with Blood Angels. Stop, stop Blood shooting, Angels uh, the is use you. use their strength. Six Maybe uh, oh, Imperial yeah. Fist with bolters. Yeah, sure. Um, uh, yeah, actually it does. <laughs> it's it's good. good. Yep. Okay. Here's the strength sevens. One. Uh, one. You're doing me. Uh, Got another one. Oh, uh, he's toughness four. Oh, then the other one didn't do it. This then his last one. Oh, okay. This is a big gun. Big oh, gun hits. Shit. Don't worry about it. I'll roll a one or a two. Hey, that should go through. Make, uh, make three. I have a pinball. D6 wounds. Damage. D6, don't D6. roll one. Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> you knew that was coming. <laughs> you knew that was coming. Uh, Just when you think I'm going to get a little bit of something, uh, like a little something extra. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, he you gets know. in. I thought, I thought he didn't get That's in. That would have been bad. Woo. Uh, At least the Daedalus did something. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, that's it. So uh, I'll just do this chaplain real quick. So my scout sergeant gets four attacks. Everybody else gets three. Two. Okay. Hitting you on threes. Misses there, but wounding you on threes. Yeah, I, I just thought you were gonna. Uh, wait, four, threes, fours. Yeah, because I'm scouts. I'm blood angels. Yeah, I wish you had an you, extra five oh, attacks, don't you? Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I wounded all of them too. I think that's oh, your. Uh, oh look at that! Still that's still your claim right yep. there. I'm gonna clip right. that. Uh, like Reed Stowe's. Uh, <laughs> With his, Opinion uh, on Blood Angel Scouts. Uh, it brought him down, brought him down. So maybe, maybe I should shut up. It feels better. <laughs> yeah, it's sweet bolter. Two? Better. But, uh, He's got five wounds. On... Yeah. He sure does. Uh, hit on threes. And then I wound you on fives. One minus one. One minus one. Uh, I, of course, fail it because that's obviously how it goes. Wow. Oh, okay. it's D3 against uh, oh. vehicles. Yep. Okay. D3. Three. So is for four three? Yep. Of course it was of for three. Of course it did. <laughs> so unreal. Okay. Uh, three attacks back. Um, How unreal would it be if the uh, Doom Crawler stomps him with his Ooh, stompy feet? Geez. Oh, that's what I want. That's what I'm cheering for. Hope the spider eats him. One hit. <laughs> up, up, up. Up, why aren't you moving up? Up. No, not today. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> not today. I just want to put out there that was on the that was very bad. <laughs> okay. The sanguinary okay. guard, they're not yeah. gonna swing their extra AP weapons, yeah. they're just gonna swing basic close combat weapons yeah, to so, try not to kill this. Yeah, he's trying to okay. hide in combat so, there to just sit on number two. Because I want to kill it on your turn. And I need uh Fives to wound you. Two. No AP. Uh, two day no AP. Watch it. Yep. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna fail both these. You ready? Go for it. I'm gonna fail both of them. No. Nope. No. Nope. <laughs> so this drop on okay. has uh, looks like four. Kill one. You kill one. Hold one. Yep. That's all I gotta do, really. Okay. Uh, top turn four. Um. All right, Reed, what do you think uh, Colin needs it's to do to pull out the W? An inch. Colin needs to keep doing what he's doing. He needs to, he needs to, he, he needs to get those, th those vehicles up to s get objectives. He needs to control number two with one of them, control number three with another, um, to start getting the hold mores. What about yep, Khan? So yeah, yeah, where, where should Khan, Khan go? Khan needs to keep doing his yeah, thing. Like um, he needs to keep taking out little stuff. I, I think you use the vehicles to shoot at the Balistari this turn. 
and then you use the con to go into that ruin on the other end and just start picking off all these little units right right in that area yep uh so yeah we're gonna I believe I believe Colin has the option to fall back the onager and shoot that data list with the lone aggressor also up in the ruin. Oh yeah, that'd be a good call right there too. I think he has an angle to him. I was just kind of peeking a minute ago and I think that that gives him the angle. Oh yeah, I would say uh yeah, he's probably. got him if you want. Yeah. And that aggressor can be the hero of the Imperium surviving that turn one charge and then finishing off that data list. So that's probably going to be short yeah. too. I would say yes. Can't really tell, yeah, but yeah. Um, more than likely good. yes, yeah. Yeah, that's short. He's going to have to advance. I don't know if advancing is going to uh, really okay. help him. Um, so we'll take a look at a quick score update. These can move. I believe this the Scorpius can go 12 though. So Duncan looks like Duncan was able to score at least two more points. Of course. I'm sorry. I got I two that turn. The on the stun, yep. yeah, the but the real so question comes down to hold more and really high for some reason. And uh, I don't see any reason I'm why sure Colin wouldn't get kill more yeah, with I all these little units much. still running around. Right now. And no then um, can't release any hold more. Like I said, that's that's the that's the tough thing for him. Uh, is he's got to get those vehicles moving smell. up. He's got to. He's got a lot to yeah, do. He's got to kill the Iron Bell Star. Yeah, I gotta hold he's got to start cleaning up those I little units. He's talking about right now. He's saying he's got to hold more. He absolutely needs to. He needs to start scoring that. So uh, uh, currently, Dunk or How? Colin has this objective. <laughs> I'm you. There it is. This one. And then. And that's it. Right there. Duncan, on the other hand, <laughs> has this one back here. Okay. This number six, number four, and number two. So, so, so I think those scouts are actually Cullens right there, and number three. Oh, those scouts that are right there, on number three. I think those are Cullens. Right. That's correct. That's correct. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Colin only has two, while Duncan has four. The easy pickings would be taking out the scouts or the units on objective six. Um, sending Khan would probably be the best bet for that. Yep. Uh, all small arms fire. Yep. All goes right here. This guy comes in. And I think you need to use those vehicles to kill Starry or excuse me, the Iron Strider. And uh, between the Onager and between all the little guns, you have to you have to start knocking stuff off that number six. And that number four, that's a character right there, right? Uh, okay. Uh, yes. Looks like yeah. a tech priest. He's, he can't move because he can shoot twice. So he's not going to move. Hmm. I think I can actually see your... I can see him. Ooh. They're gonna be able to shoot them off. Yeah, you can, just, you can see it. And Duncan is just able to maintain this huge 16. nine point lead. Yep. And he's just gotta tread water. And he's only got, well, two and a half turns to do it. Grab, tab, spin. That's right. That's right. Oh, you're coming up the sanguinary guard? Uh, I can kill him. This is a, oh, okay. It's an interesting play. Uh, I, will, but, you know, if you, I think don't, if you don't kill him, they're gonna kill him. I yeah. <laughs> um. So. Uh, three. Okay, let's start with uh, some pew. Um, first thing, we'll start with the the one aggressor. Uh, shooting at your uh, your one guy. All right. he didn't move. He's dead. So the problem with I have okay. with the uh, <laughs> the problem I have with the con okay. situation uh, next is that it uh, won't won't get him hold more. It'll just get him hold the same, the which he, he doesn't need to go for right now. He doesn't the, need uh, that. Sorry, the the, the sanguinary guard are not a problem right now. What they're going to do is they're going to kill that open. drop pod in, or what they would do yeah, is kill that drop guys. pod in Duncan's turn, and then they'd be loose. But he can't charge yeah. after that. So then you have a then then now you have a uh, chance to deal with him. Six. Up. That was not a roll. I don't think they're the urgent thing. I think the urgent thing is objective six. Okay. Three misses. Reroll. Let's roll. 
Uh, threes still miss because you don't have the fly keyword. 93s. Of course, I rolled two misses. Uh, so one at neg two. Okay, and one. There goes one scout. And yep. This is the missile. Two misses. Strength seven. Three hits. Three. Two, two at neg one. Five ups. Five ups. One more goes down. Yeah. Goes down. And, oh, Another one. And that's, two more scouts. This is just one missile. His lone shot. Misses. Hits. Oh, look at that luck. <laughs> Two turns in a row. <laughs> okay, moving on. Uh, the first uh, Scorpius, that, uh, the one in the back here, uh, he's going to small arms. Uh, he's going to small arms. I will, I will be able to see them. He's going to small arms them. Okay. He's, go he's going to missile the scouts, and he's going to mortar the uh, guys behind the, the wall. Okay. Okay. Bell, sorry. Um, okay. What was that, Reed? Small arms. Oh, he's, he, I'm just trying to figure out where he's um, shooting all the uh, mortar, the auto line of sight gun at the Iron Strider, Bell, sorry. Right. Okay. Miss. I don't. I don't think he should have done that at all. Threes. I think his whole the threes, whole game for him threes, this turn it should be yep. win objective uh, six. So six. Four ups. Two die. Yeah, kills over nine thousand. That's what we're thinking too. I think he's getting a little greedy. Six missile. Um, you know, he did have a couple split fought or split six. combat melee attacks earlier that really helped him out. Um, oh, but this could steps, be right? the yeah. reason why he's not able to, uh, uh win the game. The you, I guess Khan, okay, here, here's so an interesting, um, Khan yep. is in a good position <laughs> to charge the Sanguinary Guard, obviously. I think that's the yep. right play. Uh, Khan is Thank right God. here that's on the bike, the charging the Sanguinary Guard. Yep. Uh, we have this, all, all these scouts right here. Uh, obviously, he obviously Colin wants to protect objective three. Yep. But you know, and I don't think he's gonna have any room to make a legitimate charge to the Iron Striders. Meaning, the Iron Striders are gonna get a round of combat next turn, or actually able to shoot. Yeah, they could very end up very well end up getting uh, loose. Um, yeah, so three and, that and if they if they do things like knock out the five man unit of scouts, then then he's in a real world of hurt. No, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Well, artisans. Oh yeah, oh, damn it. Two. Two. Well, as Duncan having uh, nine to one odds Oof. of winning this game, I think the the hot money would have been on him. Hey. <laughs> Uh, on, on Duncan or Colin? Crawler. Duncan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The one guy left there. I think you are going to be within 36. Okay. Uh, so small arms into him and mortars right. and missiles. Into so his way of dealing with six, right. objective six, is to arms. Just do the. Yeah. Uh, That's fine. Just do the mortar into the guys. Uh, missiles. All right. So now the objectives are all tied up. Oh, can they see him? Oh, it's this one. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. See, my my question actually is Missile. if the con didn't move right now, and he just stood there, who actually holds objective two? Like, does he have two sanguinary guard models within three of that number two, nope. or is it just one? Just one. Two. So if he doesn't charge, he wins the objective Six game. Ups. He does. One, see what I mean? Yeah. I don't know if that's yeah. is that the right call. I, I don't yes. necessarily think so. I I don't really. No. Sanguinary. All I know is that if he, he does not want to lose Khan. The last one. Khan is going to be his only hope for line Four, breaker and three, get it, those five, units six. back in the corner. Nothing else will be able to get there in time, I don't think. I would agree. Let's take a look at the command points real quick. I think uh, Colin might have. Nope, he is out of command points. So I'm not going to call this. I don't want to say this on, on any any player Oops. playing a tournament, but this uh, is a four-inch charge, one. three to four-inch charge <laughs> for the Sanguinary Guard. Yep. yep. How many Fair times enough. have you rolled double uh, ones okay. with your character Cons trying to get in? Especially in a game where I'm staging a comeback. I've 
fuck and this is what I need. Yeah, that's been too much. It's been too much. <laughs> Con has two loops. Alright. Two loops. Okay, uh, Con's gonna charge in. Um, Here we go. This is it. And of course, like all the other comments I've made, not like, oh, don't do this. Do. Why are you doing but, this? Uh, it's not... There we go. If, if this works out for Cullen, then I think he's sitting pretty. But he still has to get Con all the way across the board over to that line breaker. Okay, Con's got six attacks. Right, here we go. Okay, got to hit. Hitting on, do it. Hitting on twos, all hit. Wounded on twos, strength eight. There's five, neg three. Five ups. Um, uh, five ups. And that is going to stick them. Okay. Okay. These are how much damage? D3. Okay, Ooh. do them one at a time for me. First one. First one. Oh, Kills so unlucky. <laughs> yeah, that. And then the next one? Uh, next one. There, it kills one. So two guys died. Two guys died, yep. Oh, so wow. That's, okay. that's, that's about <laughs> what I expected. Well, <clears throat> he's not one enough to, uh, there's not enough to go into uh, con, so I'm just going to do the drop pod. So, so right there, he set it I up just right. So now he wins objective. Threes. The sanguinary guard cannot and pile into him because he pulled the wrong models. He charged me. One goes through. Okay. Um, anything, any, what's the neg on Minus it? two, excuse me, minus two. You're good. Don't worry, I'll, I'll fill the charge. Oh, no, I got it. Okay. Hey, you're safe. All righty. Uh, did you want to speed play this? Um, I guess, I, 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 I guess, you, I'm sorry. Yeah. I, I, I guess you got, you got leadership on here for a second, right? Uh, they're at eight, so they're okay. Um, and then, okay. Uh, so I killed quite a bit. Yeah. And I, yeah. I think I hold more and I got killed more. Oh, yeah. I so this is where guys. this, this, yep, this is think, where. So because Duncan yep, pulled the wrong models, he wasn't point, able to attack the con back. He killed more, more. And he wasn't able yes. to hold the objective. So he just turned over kill more. Okay. He missed out on swings on the con. Jesus and now his sanguinary so. guard is. Well, I mean, what do you, so what do you. Do you want to do, do another turn? Or, I mean. Well, I think it's going to come down. It's yeah, going to come down to the wire. You got to play it out there. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, All right, let's take let's a look at the score here. real quick. Because if I... Oh, oh, I got, oh my I got, gosh. I got, a, I got the final bullshit. How crazy is this? Yeah. yeah. If I kill and I hold... Another five-point turn for Cullen. I don't know that I'm going to be able yep, to... Yep, so uh, right there, it all Dick's swung back. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to get old school. <laughs> Trying to think here, because be, th this turn you got to try to kill Khan, and then it's maybe one Khan has three wounds on him, three wounds left, and then next turn I'm gonna table. We'll see about that. Next turn we'll see about lose. that. I, I hear Cullen talking, but I want to see I'm it. Just direct fire I agree. The, the disintegrators. This is what the chart sure, looks like right now. Duncan has a like a 59% chance now. That's both of your uh, vehicles yep. here. It wasn't that long ago that he had 104% chance. Uh, <laughs> That's but, true. Uh, <laughs> thanks to your math. But, no, this chart's know. cool. I like this. I like this. Hopefully the uh, yeah, chat agrees with me. Well, let's just walk it through. I think they're going to so walk it through you, the game. I should be walk able to it through. hold one more objective. Yeah, oh you'll definitely get you'll get one more in yours. I don't know if you're going to kill anything. I would have to He's got, go it, over here. The drop pod, maybe. Shoot you and charge you. With the Iron Strider. Mm -hmm. This guy. He would advance. What? Seven inches. That's not enough to get to this objective over here. No. It'd be just short. Okay. Um. And then the sanguinary guard would have to try to kill this drop pod, and that's it. Remember, okay, let's Con, see if I can kill. So Khan can go 16, flat 6 for his yeah. advance for being White Scar, and then he can charge. 
Okay. Yeah, let me see. Let me see if I can kill these scouts, and then we'll go from there. All right. Okay. So I'm hitting you on fours. You know, if Duncan could, when there's that threes. unit of uh, rangers right here. Two five. Yep. Advance them out. Still hold the objective. Make it harder for our charge. That's right. Just run them that. Yep. Run them back that way. Make it a problem. Duncan, don't give yeah, up. Let's see. We believe Never in you. Never give up. You, use Cullen's don't give up powers. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's exactly right. All right. I mean, and as we've learned from this game, you should always split your attacks. Three um, attacks or two attacks. And Excuse don't me. ever take my advice when Hitting it comes to threes. splitting your <laughs> Accurate. Oh, that's not enough. One hit. Three to wound you. One wound. Sorry, it's this this fucking dice. <laughs> up in the air. Man. Up in the air. There we go. Alright, kill the other guy. Swing back. Yeah, he's still outside of the three inches to hold that objective too. Oh, oh. brutal. Master Artisans. Full but hit. yeah, even nice. even if he holds that objective, he can't it's not gonna get him anything. Like you said, that he's got all those vehicles ready to oh, unload on him. Oh, one more, excuse me. That's true. And, no, just two. So you're good. Uh, I'm good on my saves. Okay. And then my sanguinary guard. One hit. No, not, not, nothing. Nothing. Five, right? Yep. Yep. Con, sw con swings. Well, he's not uh, within an inch, so he can't pile in. Okay. Could the Oracle intervene? But I held. And that's it. One. So this next turn. No, I'm not mad at you. Hold. Should I be mad at you? You'll kill and you'll kill more. And, and in the last phone. turn, you'll do the and same I, thing. Jason, with hot mic. And you'll Someone's get mad at him. Will you get and bonus get... in the last turn? Yeah, I'll have everything spread out on four. No, I can hear you. One, two, one, two, three, four, yeah. And then oh, you'll that's get, funny. I'll so they can hear school, me though. Uh, behind enemy lines. Funny. They probably think I'm crazy then talking to myself. Yeah. <laughs> Oof. Oof. In case you're all wondering, I, I really Oof. thought that I caught Jason game. with a hot mic. I need a cigarette. <laughs> like a crazy. Yeah, that was a really Don't mess game. with the master on his. Oh turn. my god, that was brutal. What all happened? Right. I, I really thought you had it. The first two turns. I don't know. I. Uh... I don't even know. All right, sounds like I'm they're sure, uh, like, wrapping up the game. Could have done wrong, like could have done any differently. I thought I had it too, but uh, I, th I think the it late was game. The, the, the charges when you forgot. Oh yeah, that that sanguinary guard not charging. Yeah, the sanguinary guard not charging. Bad. I mean, oh my god, how? I also I don't know if I would have locked. I think Colin's confused about it. I thought they were gonna go right towards this shit. I agree. Yeah. Hey, let's talk to the players for a few minutes real quick and get their input, and then we'll kind of close up the game. They're tallying up the scores, but I think Duncan. Duncan, that was that was truly brutal. The score is 32-25. Let's get let's get some input from the players real quick. Anytime you want to play again, man, I will definitely do a rematch. Hey, Colin and Duncan. Yeah. All right. So what a great game. Totally enjoyed it. Whew. It was amazing. I loved um, it. Duncan, thoughts about your death company taking out the aggressors and the victor the first turn? I think that was the right move. I think it had I uh, just been able to position maybe or if Colin had done like a couple of little half inch things here or there and I would have got a war suit pinned, I think it'd be a different game because he wasn't be able to shoot my death company. And they would have just fucking went to town. And the one survivor. But one aggressor living is pretty annoying too. Yeah, that one aggressor <laughs> ended up doing a lot of work towards the end, killing so, the data list. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have been so aggressive with my characters, but then it's Blood Angels, so you gotta do that. And then uh, I probably shouldn't have put up my Iron Strider so far to get him to come out and charge him, because then not being able to shoot was a big deal. But, uh, yeah, that's my take. Yeah, I think it was a pretty amazing game. Now, Colin, uh, what were your thoughts on, on the game? Uh, like, after the first turn when you were absolutely raffle stomped. 
I, I mean, I, I was looking at looking at my watch, being like, okay, we could probably get this done before before Matt I was on at nine. I, I mean, honestly, he hit me with with a lot. Um, I think it, you know, I did not think I was gonna be able to survive it. Him him not moving that one character, I think, was just the right amount to give me the mobility to break out of combat and then shoot what was in front of me. And I think that yeah. was that was huge. And of course, the indirect fire, being able to just consistently put rounds down range. Um, I mean, it's you know, it enables it, it digs things out, which is I think why they're pretty good. Yeah, yep. me never being able to touch those guys was a big deal. Was a big deal. So that that hurt. Cool. Well, hey guys, was, thanks for playing. We appreciate it. Uh, we're gonna wrap up the stream real quick. Uh, Reed, what were your final thoughts of the game? It was, it was... <laughs> Oh, can we hear you? Yeah, I don't know if they can or can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, I don't I don't think they're able to hear me, but uh that's okay. That's all right. Okay. Well, we're going to wrap up the game. We appreciate you guys for joining us. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Great game. Great comeback. Big fan of that game. Yeah. I think it was uh, one of the more amazing games I've seen so far. Uh, it, was, it was enjoyable. You know, two really great opponents. Uh, unfortunately, Dunk or Cullen is going to move to the next round. Uh, real quick, the brackets... Uh, Cullen obviously moves us to the next round. Uh, tomorrow we are having Brian and Mike DeLang from Wichita both play each other at six o'clock. Uh, my one of my other cohorts, Doug James, is going to be running the stream, so give him a hard time, or actually just tune in to hear the sulky sounds of Doug. So. Love it. It's going to be great. And we got more games this week. We're streaming two for two weeks straight. Lots of 40K action. So if you're bored, come check us out. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. And Thanks for uh, having me, guys. Hey, no problem, Reed. You're welcome back anytime. As always, thank guys, you, dice safely.